Ready, sir? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of it. <laughs> He's all jealous. <laughs> you planning your next dumb song? Yeah, fuck that album, nigga. Oh shit! I'm gonna tell everybody you're from Wyoming. <laughs> oh shit! How did you ever start telling me that? I don't know. Yo, welcome to Crim's Crib, where it's not really my crib, but we don't change the name because it sounds cool, and we're back. We're actually back, nigga. We took a week <laughs> off. Here we are. We're back on the fucking show. I missed everybody. Yeah, I tried not to talk to y'all purposely, so that way, when I see you again, I have a shitload of shit to say. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Because it's like, sometimes we talk so much. We see each other so much, it's like, <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? I need to stay away from these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then, nice. that way, when we do link up, I got a shitload of shit to say. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're back. Braze, how you been since what's last time? What's up? Good, man. Just hanging in there, doing the usual, staying on the grind, you know, enjoying life. Good. Need to, especially in these times. Yep. Eternal, what's up with you, man? Shit, chilling, man. Working hard with Sam. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, this isn't, a, this isn't a show about your album, okay? You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, but what you been doing, man? I know nah, you've been working. This, shit, just grinding, bro. Grinding, now we do. Good, 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 man. And Blaze, what's up with you? What you been up to? Uh, nothing, man. Just chilling. Enjoyed the week off. It was good. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. I've been yeah. doing all right, it's man. I actually got week. a job again. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually yeah, back working, tight, nigga. Man. Oh, so, shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it's nice to balance to have a little bit of normalcy again. And you know what I'm saying? So, I'm grateful. I'm happy. And I'm glad to be back and ready to fucking uh, do the show today. That and uh, first week. Good. Good. It was good. It was good. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 trying to get used to like having to get up and get ready and be yeah. somewhere on time and all that. Yeah. Like I hadn't, hadn't had to do that. I hadn't been on schedule in so long. Yeah. So now getting in the mix and trying to stay on the schedule. Nigga, I haven't had to comb my hair, nigga. I just throw on, <laughs> I've been wearing hats. Just and, throw a hat on. Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? So having to even do my motherfucking hair, nigga, is a whole nother fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, goddamn, man. So I'm happy about that too, man. So I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm grateful. And I'm so thankful here to do the show. Uh, Braves, we have people in the building today. Yeah, we got a special guest in the building, man. Young Delanoff. Yes, sir. Clever. What's up? What's up, man? Yo, what up? How you doing, dog? Chilling, man. Chilling, How you man. been since the last time I saw you? Uh, I ain't combed my hair since the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I started combing my hair and you stopped combing your hair? Yeah, I ain't combed my hair. And I was telling you right now, I was like, I, my girl was like, let me try to braid it. And like, nah, I woke up looking like Freakazoid and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up with hairspray and gel, no braids. I'm like, she's like, oh, yeah, I didn't have the right gel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, we went. It's all hard under here. <laughs> we want, we want, we, uh, um, we wanted to get you in here, but we knew you had an album coming, and we thought it would, you know, we would wait till it gets out so people could hear it, we sure. could hear it, yeah. and we could start getting to it. I actually listened to the whole thing in the gym, yeah. and I actually been jamming it just, I ride with it. Yeah. So I, I, I'm really, I've really listened to it a yeah. lot. I'm sure you turned it on listen to it. Yeah, yeah I've done listened to it about too. 10, 12 times already. Yep. So Tight. we've gone through it. I've really, we've, we've, uh, which, 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 like, the new generation, I feel, don't, doesn't do, we've digested the album. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if a lot of people do that anymore. And I, I was telling one of my, one of my homies today about that. He's like, I listened to it, like, six times already. And I was like, and the people have been telling me they've listened to it a few times. And I'm like, man, like, I feel like it's a lost art as far as, like, yeah. a complete body of work. Yeah. Which is yes. what I'm super, super proud of. And I told him, I was like, it's been a, about a year and a half in the making, which has probably been more than that. You know, some of those songs that I met Slow like probably about two years ago, and we started working immediately when we met. So... I was just like, man, I'm proud of the fact that like it has replay value. That's yes. it. That's the only yeah. thing I'm proud. Yeah. I just want replay value. Doesn't have replay yeah. value. Yeah. Replay value is what yeah. I'm yeah. the most replay excited value. about, and yeah. I think that it's like that's the most the proudest thing I could be of, regardless of how many people listen to it or who the people that are listening to it are running it back. Like, oh, let me get one more time on yeah. that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you're you're like the uh, like the uh, one of the. Young, how I say it? You're like one of the young old niggas I know. Like you're young, but you have an old school nigga mentality. Like mm -hmm. as far as the way you make music, yeah. the way you write music, the way you like uh, uh, how you wanted to create a whole body of work. Yeah, you know these young niggas don't want to create a whole body of work nah. like that. They just want to throw a single out there, yeah, single sure. and wait for one to catch. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But you you have that mentality. Is it because of the, you were around a lot of the old school 
rappers from like my time that you were around them so much that you kind of picked up that I or think, how did you how do you think you got to that i think uh more so the fact that i know that i don't have like a shock value attached to me like i'm not gonna be crazy with crazy hair i'm not that person so i right. think that the what i have to have is substance you're either gonna have one or the other mm-hmm. and i don't want the shock value either you know what i mean like yeah uh because i feel like that's not it doesn't last there's no longevity with shock value you could be shock value like, oh yeah that's crazy let me look at that guy for a little while but nobody's gonna take their time to like actually digest your music and i'm such a creative that I want people to sit there with it and appreciate it and I just enjoy being in the studio so I think I have a lot a lot of music I think I made 200 songs before we even dropped off for so in the wow. last but when I left the label I left all like 150 of them there because yeah, I couldn't yeah, take yeah. them with me so I had to start all over with my catalog and then luckily I met Slow Life and then we started so we probably have about 30 to 40 songs with him and then picked 13 out of that wow yeah. And you know what, man? And the and the and the stuff you created with the label prior, yeah. that stuff was fucking dope too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the ones that have, we have out, and there's like there was a whole two, three albums that are just sitting there still that I couldn't take. Hey. Like when I left, I was like, so what about the music that I got? They're like, oh, it'll be here. Like if you ever want to cut a deal again later for just one project or something, hit us up. I'm like, all right. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> how do you? How do you? Was it a big that's ass different stuff from like creating a project with the with them and you creating? Because this was like your. Your yeah, baby, right? My this baby was in your my brain. Yeah, no, I think it was a. Uh, it's just the, the time's a little bit faster because, like, when you're dealing with a label, you got a couple more artists that are sitting around and they got other projects going on. They got their own lives going on. I think I was able within these two years to like build my own team up, build my videographers, build my producers up, build it. So now I'm moving my own pace. So I think it's if, to me it's better. You figure out everything what works. is about me because I'm the one in control of like I feel like I'm more in control of my own destiny when everything's in my hands. Like mm-hmm. from the mixing and mastering, as torture, torturous as that was. I don't know if that's a word, torturous, but that shit was. Torturous because yeah. uh, I had to sit there mixing and master with slow life. And I'm like, Yeah, oh, you were in the I session. Do not like, yeah, I do not yeah, like that. Bro. She's mad, fucking boring. Me neither. <laughs> that shit's tedious. I don't like to yeah, sit through tedious. the master. Like, what do you think about this or this? I'm like, They sound the same to me. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Sounds good. Release. Yeah, like, he was like, Are you just saying that? I'm like, Yes, I'm tired of being here. <laughs> That's how I am with Blaze. We fuck with yeah, shit, and bro. I'm like, Just put it out, nigga. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a shit. I'm that type of person. I just put it out. Like, I'm putting snippets out, snippets out, and people were like, like You put out the whole album, you can listen to Instagram, I'm like, yeah, but that's me in my head as far as marketing. I know you got to shove it, shove it, shove it, put it in front of you. I've known like being in marketing classes and also seeing marketing, like people have to see it three, four times before they're going to get acclimated with it. Like they have to be there with it and like see it pop up. Same thing with like shit you see at the grocery store. What's the difference between you buying this particular toilet paper or that particular toilet paper is like keep seeing this one and they have bears and this one has this or whatever the fuck. Like yeah, right. it's just the marketing behind it. Just little things like that. Like so I pushed the music for the last year. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. You know what, man? I, dog, I'm glad you said that because mm-hmm. the other day whenever when I was th- I was thinking about Eternal's project because you know we, 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 we talk about it. We've heard songs. He, he tells me the route that they're going and everything and so we've talked about it quite a bit and one day I was thinking to myself, I didn't even tell you eternal but i thought about this and i was like why is eternal going like why is he treating this like why is he even doing like like uh, not even why is he doing it but more so like i was thinking about it more so from another angle i was thinking like what's the point of a rollout anymore yeah right i was thinking i was like dog now that you can release music like that but now hearing you is like there is a purpose still yeah, for a rollout be doing it the right but way. i gotta promote your album but yeah. you know but i was thinking like like who cares about a rollout anymore? Like mm-hmm. or like for instance, if you say uh, 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 I'm so Texas uh, comes out uh, February 25th, let's say you said that, mm-hmm. right? I was thinking like, why does it matter? Like a day, just throw it out, right? But then you, you still know, want people to listen on that. Your first week's always going to be your best sales, so yeah. you want to try yeah. to get. You still want to build people. anticipation, yeah. regardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want right. to, especially for your own career. You want to get the wheels rolling, get people excited for it. Yeah, I think, yeah, more yeah, so. yeah. And see it, yeah, and exactly. I, and, excitement. And, and yeah, I think that I didn't click, but you know, but also too, I haven't been in the music business yeah. in a while. Yeah, I think so, either way you can do it. Like, but like it, the the shock value of just like dropping an album, I think that works for like bigger artists because like if you already got a fan base that been yeah. waiting there, if you could drop something today, then it's like, gonna blow oh, up. Shit. Yeah, like oh Drake drops them. Yeah, like Beyonce. Yeah, some yeah. shit. Like, yeah. She was the first one. She dropped a whole album with all the videos and all that shit. Like, I, I mean, wish honestly, I could do that shit. I wish I, had I believe no matter how patient. old SPM gets out, like if he drops an album, like out, yeah, for sure, like it's gonna it's gonna he sell like the, crazy. The fan base, yeah, and, and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. He the has support it. behind him. Yeah, man. What do you think it takes? What do you think it's gonna take for like, for instance, I'm sure you've gotten a lot of a lot of great responses. Yeah. already in mm-hmm. a week, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. What does it take now? Because you know this is the the era of. Of uh, uh, I'll jam an album in a week and uh, hey, when are you dropping something else? Yeah, right. I already got one lined up in the chamber. So. But you know that's the era. <laughs> yeah, that's but I'm why. sure you want to milk this album. Yeah, for sure. To the fullest. Yeah. What does it take in this time 
to milk an album like that? Uh, I think just videos, visuals, getting people to find out reasons, like working on the Not For Life documentary. So we're trying to figure out right now if we want to do a full-length documentary of like 30, 45 minutes or stretch it out as far as a series. Because we have all the events that kind of led up, like from the start of where SPM kind of co-signed me up until the album dropped. We have all that footage. We've been we got a lot of footage like from background scenes of actually th- all those songs being created, like good-ass footage that people would be interested to see. So I think just creating that excitement again, like, like January... I look at those Netflix documentaries like Selena and Jenny Rivera and anytime those types of things come out the streams go up because yeah, people yeah. are re-interested True. in what's going on and my girl she's yeah. watching Jenny Rivera right now at the house I'm yeah, like yeah. and my mom's like I never listened to Jenny Rivera but now my girl never listened to Jenny Rivera and now she's playing it in the car because yeah, yeah, of yeah. the documentary yeah. I yeah. think people just need to be associated with you they want that excitement and I think that's what it takes like just al- allowing people to open up and be in your life as yeah. far as that so that's why I think like that shock value and all that shit doesn't work it might work for a little while but at the same time I can't keep up that facade and right. I don't want to I want people to accept me for who I am so no matter what I do they'll support me that's it feel like the same way with SPM and no matter what he does yeah. they're gonna support it I want we're, that type of fan base yeah. we're definitely in the we're definitely in the era of uh, of uh, uh, people are not so much a fan of, we know you can rap yeah I know I can rap. Mm-hmm. I know Eternal can rap. Yeah, we know sure. we've done it our whole life. Yeah, exactly. It's not us being able to make rap songs is not even an issue. The it, the thing is now is that we're in the era of personality sells Yo. everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right, so yeah, that's I what I tell you. That's that's what I that's what how I think we turn on. I'm like, dude, you're on a show every Friday. Yeah, your personality is like yeah, you. You have a, a, a place to put personality out forever. Yeah, exactly. Like every exactly. day, every week, you have personality to put out. For sure. You and feel that's me? why I want to put content out there, and I want people to be. Re- I want it to be relative. Like I want people to be able to relate to me. Like I could be you. I could yes. be your son. I could be your nephew. I could be you or whoever you know around the street. Like I'm not trying to sell you this. I'm rich. I'm that because I ain't rich. I'm still fucking broke. Like you know what I'm saying. Like we're still doing struggling, and I'm doing going through the same shit you are. The only difference is I make music. This yeah. is the only difference. You right. know what I mean? So, I feel like people can relate to you. They're more attached to you and they want to support it more yeah, regardless sure. of the music. And if the music is good, then it's like both. Get both clicking. Yeah. And that's something that I kind of struggled with early on because when I was with the label, they were like, don't put this out. Don't put this out. You can't put out your ever girl. You can't do this. You can't do that. They yeah, were more yeah. so on top of it. So, I feel like, I was like, why the fuck not? Everybody got fucking relationships and all yeah. these things. Like, shit, I don't want to, I don't know, I felt a little bit fake about it, you know? Yeah, so yeah. as I moved on and started doing my own thing, I was like, I'm going to be as transparent as possible. Even my cousin, he's like, why, you say shit I wouldn't even say, like, you know, that you broke or this or that, like, because everybody's going through the same shit. Why are we acting like we're not? <laughs> yeah, everybody's yeah. going through the same shit. Yeah. Why do we act like we don't, you know? So I'm like, shit, I'm trying to peel back the curtain a little bit. And, oh, really? I think people more are going to more fuck with you if you have a girl. What girl doesn't relate to a person I in a relationship? Way. I just I feel think. like if he's honest, you know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. that honesty is, I don't want to have to be lying to or like you yeah. know what I'm saying trying to avoid shit like I go through family problems I go through relationship problems I go through all these problems you can hear it in the music you hear it when I'm talking like that shit I feel like it's relatable and like you said people like they want to like you for you if they like me then they might they might not even ever have heard my music I'm sure there's people on my Instagram right now have never heard my music and knowing that I'm sure when they when they see different posts or me doing different things like they're like I like him. I wonder what his music sound like. And then they yeah. might, you know what I'm saying? Probably from a month from now, from when the album released, probably never heard my shit, even though I've been making music for the last seven years, like, professionally. Probably have never heard it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm certain, almost. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But the only thing that's going to get them to the music is the personality, and when they see, like, okay, you know what? And it, the fact that it takes that long is what what gives me hope, and it's like, can't, you know, your first crack at it ain't always going to be the one. So yeah, you have to build that true. longevity, and when they do come, I'm going to have a catalog of motherfucking music for them to listen to, and they're going to be like, fuck, why the fuck wasn't I here already? I didn't know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, that's the, <clears throat> and that's the fucking great thing about, man, like, like, man, I, I stress, I can't stress this enough, I talk uh, to, with my own team here about it all the time. It doesn't matter how far the stuff that we do goes. Yeah. The pr- the point is, is that we have footprints that we're going to leave behind. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. We have music. We have things. Uh, we're never going to die when we finally die yeah, because exactly. we left so much behind. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. I, and those are the things that I think about to myself sometimes. I'm like, when I feel down and out, I'm like, fuck, man, what the fuck I even do this shit for? But it's not. It's less of the of the music. It's more of the, the footprint, like you said. Like, who am I attached to? What producers did I work with? Who did I put on? Who did I help when I didn't have to? Who did I work with? Who did I build relationships with? Because, like, I built a lot of relationships over the last year and over this year. And it's like, as far as music and all these things go, like, it was a horrible ass year. But what kept me going through it was music. And it was like a beautiful thing to see when I think back on it. And I'm like, built a relationship with Slow Life. Now he's on. 
on. He's getting his career going and and those types of things. Like those are things that I care about. Like you know, what did I do? How did I help with my you know what little platform I have? How did I help others? You know, kind of get on and yeah. and help and put them in their in positions and and then later on when I needed like I pull them up and then they'll pull me up and then we just swing each other up and up and up. Yeah. And yeah. That's yeah. kind of how it goes. You know what I mean? So like that fucking game with the monkeys. What was yeah, that yeah, for game? sure. Uh, monkeys in a barrel. Bro. <laughs> 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 just yeah. like that fucking game. It's exactly nigga. like that. Yeah. I, I feel like people are real like. Uh, uh, you know, cynical as far as like wanting to work with people. Like, no, nah, this is mine, 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 mine. Like, yeah, nah, fuck yeah. that, bro. I'm like, that crab in the bucket. Yeah, crab in the bucket. Yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. nobody ever's gonna get out. Nobody's ever gonna get out because we're not helping each other. We monkeys, not crabs. It, it, it doesn't even take money. It doesn't even take like, like financial things like that. It just takes yeah. a little bit of like listen and motivation. And that's what I tell people all the time. Yeah. I'm not. I don't shy away from giving out compliments and be like, that's hard. That's tight. You know what I'm saying? Me too. Do your thing. Like, people yeah, like to shy away from that. me. Too cool. Da, da, da. I'm like, bro. I'm trying to set an example. Like, I'm one of the best. I feel like in the city. And I'm not still willing to do that because yeah. I don't have no, yeah. there's no yeah. ego attached to me. I'm just thankful and grateful because right. I could have been done yeah. a long time ago. I say that all the time, man. We lost somewhere along the lines. We lost being able to be fans. Yeah, yeah. Bro. You feel me? Like That's we're true. we're down to be fans of a motherfucker we don't know at all. Yeah, for sure. That's but we're whack. never down to be fans of local people. Why? Yeah, that's whack. Why do we That's care? Like, I feel like if 2020 taught us anything, it's like local, with like local food, local stores, local things. Everything, like what that goes yeah. all the way down to the artist, support to the local artist, because you know, in a couple of years from now, he could be something big, but he's not never gonna be if we don't support it. Yeah, you exactly. know what I mean? You know what? And and dog, without and you know, and I'm not gonna I'm not blowing smoke up your ass, but even without you being here, yeah, even without you, uh, I've brought up on the show millions of times that. That nigga's the next. Yeah. He's gonna pop. Yeah, this, this, I I've told you to your fucking face. Yeah, I, for sure. Nigga, because that's, I, I'm a fan. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. a fan of the music. The music is fucking dope. Yeah, I thought you were dope since back then. Yeah. When I was still rapping and exactly. I told you, like, get on some shit. And I'm sure it was things like that, hearing it from OGs like that, that was things that kept me motivated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that same thing is the reason why I try to give back, even if it's just a little bit of karma, like, yeah. hey, you're tight. Even though a dude's like 19, 18 and still needs some work, but I see where you're headed. Yeah. And that's the beauty and the gift that some people have and some people don't. Some people yeah. can see right now and some people can see a couple years in the future. Like, yeah. I see what it could be. You know, I always see yeah. in the future, like, even when I work in the studio, I'm like, I know it sounds like shit right now. I'm like, but I see what it could yeah. be like a couple, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. yeah like, let's just right. build off of this. There's a good foundation right here. Yeah. So, which is why I'm working with young artists, and I think that I'll never be, you know what I'm saying? I got other younger artists that are, like, 16, 17 that I'm working with and trying to, like, help and get them structured and everything like that. And I feel like in a couple of years, I'll be in the position to really, really help them. So, yeah. that's my goal, and end goal, to have, I, this, I have think- my own label and do that. I think for sure, like, you know what I'm saying? When I listen, I, I listen to the older stuff and then I listen to the new shit and I'm like, concept-wise, your concepts keep getting good. Yeah. The concepts keep changing. And then the concepts stay with the times. Yeah. But, but, the st- but the flow stays with you. Yeah. The way you are. Your style of flowing stays the way it is, but the concepts keep changing as far yeah, as yeah. the beats. You know how you use a lot of those melodic, laid yeah, back. Yeah. It's yeah. like Future would be on that yeah, or, yeah. or Drake would do that beat nah, or whatever. Slow life. Slow but life you still, crazy. but you do your <laughs> thing. You do the fucking, the yeah. old school hardhead, stunner man yeah. style on that. Yeah. It, make, yeah. it makes a track. Right, yeah. you make it dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the track's yeah. a track, but he makes it a track. For yes, sure. appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate you it. you make it good. You're yeah. a great artist. Yeah, you're Thank great. You. Look, you you're 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 you hanging with the best of them. You're on songs with with Coast. Yeah, Coast yeah. is lyrically he's my favorite crazy. out of Houston ever. That dude crazy. He'll, he'll rhyme all the whole bar with the whole next bar. I'm like <laughs> from the, the first song to, from the first word to the left. I'm like yeah, that's just crazy. He's just a fucking like <laughs> like the dog. His mind is just. I don't know what the fuck. Like, yeah. He's just like an alien, bro. Yeah, when it comes how do you, to how, that, do you, how does it feel when you got to work next to someone like that? Is it, is it real I, I competitive? Or no, no. I never... I, I try to stay away from like the competitiveness of it because then I get too much in my head and I'm like, oh, what? I got to be this. I got to be that. Yeah. And that strays me. It takes me away from my game, right? Like if you're playing... Like, like you know, you see coaches when you're playing basketball, they're like, stay to your game plan. Like just stop yeah. changing your game plan based off of theirs. Right, right, you right, do right, what right. you do best. And yeah. that's, that's what I've always like. Stay as, in your lane. Stay in my lane. I try to do what I do best because I know that when people hear me they're getting something different out of it I'm not them so I'll never be them I'll never be able to do them the best I can do me the best that's it or how does it feel for Coast right being the motherfucking GOAT yeah saying 
that you're one of his favorite wordsmiths. Ah, uh, that's tight. That's, that's just, crazy. That's honor, honor. Just, yeah, that's why I said it's just an honor just to be right next to him. I saw him to post be in that. The studio, yeah, and one shit. of my I'm favorite like, wordsmiths. Yeah. One of my favorite I, young wordsmiths in the game. I think it's great like, 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 wow. But I think that's also the takeaway from it is that like I used to give coach my mixtape back when I had Bet Direct, and I don't even know if he ever listened to him or what or, or what. You know what I'm saying? Like I was giving him better. Same Bet Direct I gave yeah. you. That was the first CD I ever handed coach. Mm-hmm. And he would come to like my brother's birthday or whatever. I'd be like, here you go, coach. Listen to this. I bet. You know what I'm saying? Come next time. Here go. Here to this one yeah, yeah. I, he probably listens to none of them even to this day I send him all every almost every song that I record he never responds to me <laughs> that does not discourage him <laughs> I, 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 I give a shit I don't give a shit like, you know what I'm saying but I, I, I don't think he's me. I don't feel I, bad about it I'll send him another song tomorrow I don't give a yeah. shit you know? I, I think he's just that kind until of person until he tells me to stop sending him songs like, and even then I'll probably still send him songs <laughs> yeah. or even or even or even uh, 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 to jump to another thing cause not to just talk about this close but your brother when did it fit? when did your brother cause your brother your brother was who he was yeah right when did it when did Who's was your it brother in case people don't know man <laughs> Stunner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying Stugger. when 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 or did you ever have a conversation I've thought about this before okay did you ever have a conversation y'all cause I'm sure y'all drink and chill and hang and shit and talk y'all shit right yeah did you Every ever day. have a conversation like when you were very getting really getting into the music and you were really starting to take it serious? Really, that you, did y'all ever have? When, did y'all ever have a conversation where he told you in the conversation that y- you're ready, nigga? Never, you're ready, but uh, was always definitely encouraging. I mean, I'm pretty sure he put me in before I was ready, but it was just inspiring to like fact. Like I was just glad that like, my older brother wanted to hang out with me at the time, right? Like he was bringing me to the studio and doing those things. So those are things that I keep with me. I always think about like, man, had he never wanted to hang out with me or took me to the studio, we'd never been that close. I don't know if I'd be here right now. I probably would have been doing some other shit. But like, I think whenever he wanted to do a hard heads for life. One or two, one of the ones where he was inviting me in real and shit like that. The I feel like that's that he, yeah, because oh, you know what? There was a kind of a conversation like that that we had when we did Hard Hits for Life and Hard Hits for Life Part Two. We was like, I'm gonna build a whole new team. He's like, You and real and whoever else you think and Bandit at the time, he was going by uh, Lil Chris. Now he's Bandit. Uh, he put us all on the tape, and I was like, We're ready, we're ready. We made it to the next level. Still oh, like, do a whole tape. Like, you weren't expecting him to say you, and you were like, yeah, Me? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be like, build his whole new team because back then it was like Showstopper, Stunner, and all them. Yeah, Right, and right, they right. had kind of fell out, but he still wanted to make music. So he's like, "We're gonna build a whole new team." He's like, "You real bandy?" He's like, "Come on, this what best of the best. Let's just do it." And I was like, "That's when I felt like, all right, he respects me now. Yeah. <laughs> he respects my flow now." I was on one of those hard heads. Yeah, yeah, I think it was that, those those which ones. One was it? Uh, we did I think a it was part beat. one. Part one was it. I'm trying to remember which one was which. I just want people to know that I was on one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to get those on on, uh, on all the streaming services. Right I, now, I'm working to put Better Rick, Better Rick too. So if I can get a hold of that one in its entirety, I would put it on there. On I the wish we services. could put all of our because I even sent tried. Stunna one that he did on a on one of my mixtapes. Everybody hates Krim. We did a Waka Flocka beat. Oh, and yeah. I sent it to him and he was like, Man, I haven't heard this shit. <laughs> and I was like, Nigga, you know what I'm saying? We did that whole like 10 years ago or something like that. I know. Uh, I think Jay Vass sent me one that we had did a long time ago. I was like, nah, I He that hasn't sent me the one I did with him. <laughs> Whenever he was thrown off Mexican, he, I did oh, one with him shit. too. I sold him a verse <laughs> or something. Jay Vass has some archive verses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because he never Tricky. released them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he bought verses from people and he never put them out. He bought verses from me. No, he never this, released it. Yeah, I know he had a snow verse. Yeah. And I think she even reached out to him and was like, don't, don't put that put it out. out. I'm like, you bought it. Tell her to kiss yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I told, hey, that's what I told him. I said, like, what? Okay, I would give me some money then. <laughs> or give me another uh, one. Yeah, give me another Buy one. Buy a bag. Nah, they like, cost five. Well, hey, this is what. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Buy low, sell high. Well, you can't tell me shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you can't go. tell me like shit. I own it. She wasn't in the position to be able to tell him that he couldn't put it out because he paid for it. He did it out of respect because he's a he's a stand-up guy. He's a genuine guy. But I told him, and I feel like I'm a genuine guy. I'm like, kiss your ass, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I tell her to like you, you know what I'm saying Let's send me another one then or, or you want this one give me some money my show. Give, me my, give me my money back come on then. my show and yeah, I won't let's trade for something, something. I, ain't gonna I wonder what it is though bro did she feel like she just went she got she better she was not like, good she felt she got better yeah. she didn't want nobody hearing it but like oh, at the same okay. time like I don't know. As an artist, you got to lip. I used to feel that way too, right? I used to go and like, I'd like hide all my old videos when I was with the label because I thought I was this bigger, badder artist and shit like that. But I'm like, eh, fuck that. People hit me up. They were like, where's that video? Where's that video? I'm like, somebody likes them shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah. feel like it also goes back to like the relativity and people are relative. They're like, oh man, look at this guy. He started off all the way here. This yeah. is where, damn, they start digging in the crate. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. damn, look at that little young yeah. motherfucker. Like, That's part he was of the catalog. Back there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, eh, fuck that I put them all back up and I was like people people yeah, will hit me up sometimes now and be like 
man, bro, I was just jamming uh, 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 like some old hater proof song, yeah. and then I'm like, damn, and then and then it makes me realize is that like, and it clicks to me, and it's like, cause somewhere along the lines, I fucked myself up thinking that that it gets old, but it's not old to somebody that's never heard it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. viewed to somebody that's never heard it. Yeah, it was just yeah. me getting in my own head. It's, I think yeah. as artists, we get our, in our own oh, head. Oh, man. Dude, yeah. You could ask Eternal. We, I always get in my own head about that's it. That's how you want to make a good body of work, too. Yeah. And that's how I just try to move about, like, drop it. Okay, it's done. Let's go. Move on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, like, even, even like, podcasts and shit or videos that I do, I don't look at them afterwards. No. I do them, and then I don't look at them until, like, a month or two later. Because yeah. I can't process it, because then I'll overthink my shit. Yeah. So even people, they send me, like, the, I think, well, recently, Mark the Protege sent me a freestyle. I'm like, just drop it, bro. Because if I look at it, I'm going to start. Trying to change it I ain't got time for that shit Just drop it Anything I Whatever I did That's the best I got You know I can't You can't be overthinking it You are your best You know All the time Plus the energy And the momentum In the moment You're not gonna get it back Yeah And and if I edit it Then I'll go back And be like Man should I have edited it Maybe I shouldn't have it Maybe I shouldn't have it And I get into that shit And I'm like Just drop that shit Yeah Yeah. That's why I never liked the, 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 The You know When people Artists are on a radio show or something, and they always admit, uh, well, when I got the verse from so-and-so, man, I went back and rewrote my shit. Why? Yeah. Yeah. That was the energy you had when you wrote it. Yeah, exactly. You Why do you care? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some I've never do. been the person that cares if I get wrecked on my own shit. If they brought substance to it and made it better, I don't give a fuck if he sounded yeah. better than me. It's a good song regardless. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have your... Own- that's opinion, though, too. It's like, did he get wrecked? No. To me, I don't feel like I got wrecked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> People don't like... More words depends together. on who you yeah. ask, but... <laughs> People hate right opinion now. Yeah, yeah. People hate opinion. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? because everyone has one now, bro. It's like, fuck. But yours is wrong. The internet has made yeah. it relevant. No, everyone has an opinion, yeah. Yeah. but yours is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because we did the top 20... And everybody had everybody telling me what, what I did wrong. Well, why don't you do your own then? Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Nobody else cared enough to fucking give any yeah. of you Latin motherfuckers a spotlight. Yeah, for sure. At least I did. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's for I, you to be bashing me. You should be happy somebody cared yeah. enough to do a fucking list. I think that's and, tight, though. I think just uh, to start the conversation is always a good thing. If yeah. it can yeah. start conversation, then that's it. You won. Yeah. You did exactly what you're supposed to do. Regardless of it's bad conversation, negative conversation, yeah. at least we're having yeah. a conversation. Yeah. Right. As long as we're having a conversation, we can get... That's what matters. That's what matters. And then to top it off, it's like somebody to bitch about it. Yeah. I should have been higher on the list. There's like five billion <laughs> rappers in Houston. You're a 20 of the a billion. You're Be happy with that. <laughs> like, nigga. Like how fucking When did we become So full of our fucking selves Yeah we've been full of our You see what I'm saying For a long long time That's why I decided That if I'm gonna be a leader And try to like lead My You know what I'm saying My my boys And the label The small label that I have now Is I gotta do it With being grateful and thankful And we're gonna move about that way We're gonna try to change the game And try to be different Like that's why I fuck with You know what I'm saying All of y'all in this room Cause it's di- we move differently It's yeah, not yeah. that fucking shit I, I've been de- I dealt with that a lot When I first started Like yeah. so much so I used to get my feelings hurt Cause I'm that type of person You know what I'm saying Like and I was like, man, what the fuck kind of game is this? And it's, it's yeah. cutthroat. It's like, yeah, no pun intended, but yeah. you know, <laughs> the shit is cutthroat, bro. It's cut literally single cover suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, shot by Four Studios. Uh, I'm so uh, Wyoming yeah. coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Wyoming. I'm so yeah, Wyoming it's, the dead it's, 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 it's not. It's not a fun. It's not a nice game. Which nothing is right in business, right? But like, I feel like we can still be cordial with each other. Right, 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 right. People right, stepping right. on toes and shit like that, like things that. I've, I've come across and have to deal with, and or how are we ever gonna blow up if we don't if we don't shed light on our own kind? Yeah, for sure. Right? It's like we're constantly battling. We've been battling ourselves since when we were rapping, yeah, and we still yeah. are. And now we're day. battling still. Like we still are, but I'm trying to just cre- we're trying to create the culture. I think things with like the, the list and those type of things create a community. Like I always I always tell uh, Never Die. I'm always we're always like it's create this community, and then at the end of the day, it's gonna or well, if we build it, they will come, and they can hate yeah. on it all they want to, but. We're still mm-hmm. gonna be open and build this community around ourselves. Like yeah. that's the only thing we can do is is build community. That's how we create substance. That's how we create longevity. That's how Agreed. that's how things get done. It's that's like a building new community movement coming, man. Yeah, by how taking our community and accepting community yep. and yeah. just building our own. But not yeah. not that it hasn't already been there. We just have to be be the ones to tie it to all together. It's there. We just have to put it together. Or Organ- the, organizing it. Yeah, organizing. organizing. And if we yeah. do that. Then you know what I'm saying we're unstoppable. We can mm-hmm. do a lot of things. Like we might not even be any of us. It might be just a younger artist that we all know and we put on the pedestal and push him up. And then you know what I'm saying. Now we got eyes coming back this way because we've already built that community. Mm-hmm. Another thing too is that, is that um, uh, we need to get out of the mind state that we need that we need a certain person to come yeah, and sure. and give us yeah, you know their blessing it. that it's good. Why do we need that? We don't. We don't need it, but we're but people always are like, man, you know, so and so said my shit is dope. 
So now I believe it. Why yeah. did you need yeah. that person to tell you that? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or 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 if people if people go see a YouTube video and it only has a hundred views, yeah. It, automatically you think it's a failure. Yeah. They think it's not good or yeah. it's not there. Man, only a hundred views, them niggas ain't shit. Like yeah. it's like when did we become so like numbers mean everything? It's because people don't understand what it takes to put in that grind, because everybody starts off at a hundred. I don't yeah. care who you are. Y'all start yeah. off at 100. Yeah. But people aren't, like I said, people. some people have the vision to look past it, yeah. and some people don't. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not never afraid to listen to someone and be like, okay, that's tight. Even though you might have four likes or five likes, but if I hear it's tight, then I'm the only one that, my opinion is the only one that matters to me. You know what yes. I mean? Some people need, they need that, uh, you know, uh, reassurance from people. It's like, yeah. I'm not going to do it unless there's a million views. I'm not even going to check it out. Like, yeah. that, no, no, I'm, I feel like I'm a trendsetter so I can look at something and know if it's tight or not. Like, right. I can look at a shirt at the thrift, but same reason why I could do t- shit like that. Go to the thrift store and be like, that's a dollar, $1 shirt. Anybody else might be like, I ain't buying that shit. It's cheap ass shit. I'm like, nah, that shit fly. I'm going to put that bitch on. I'm going to rock the fuck out of it. Yeah. So that's yeah. the difference. I can make something out of nothing. It's all about what you have in the vision. I can see what it looks like on me with something yeah. else. You know what I'm saying? I can see what this artist could be with a little bit of razzle dazzle on top of it like yeah. it's all about how you dress it up yeah man clever you're clever so check it out <laughs> let's get into some topics since okay. we got you here alright alright cause the, this show this is the fun part of this show is that all we right. we make the artists get into our fuck shit with okay. us okay for sure alright so now you're here that's why so. I was excited about coming here anyways I watched I watched my brother's show and we, man we watched it all the way to Dallas we were going to Dallas for uh um, one of my friends' baby showers, and then uh, we were watching all the way over there. We were laughing our ass off about it. <laughs> no leg joke. I need to like separate that, that shit. Awesome. <laughs> Just like put that in a one clip. Sherry <laughs> rolling. So check this out. A woman discovers a stranger living on her roof after her security system was disabled. What do y'all think when y'all hear Say this? Say it one more time. That's crazy. A woman discovers a stranger living on her roof after her security system was disabled. How the fuck did that happen, though? Did he to disable her security system? Yeah. Or? Uh, I don't know. An Australian mother of three says that she discovered a stranger had been living on her roof for several weeks after her security alarm was damaged and objects were being moved in her home. So Damn. this nigga was remodeling, uh, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, something. He was so inside like he was house? living inside on the roof? On the roof. And then she on the roof. Coming in. in the roof. She and must have had a house. Coming in and moving stuff. She must have had a flat roof. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, what the like, fuck? Like, like Mexico well, style. Well, they're from Australia. <laughs> oh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how roofs look in Australia. Because, I mean, if it's a roof like that, you're going to see them. You know what I'm saying? A what do you think, roof. though, nigga? Like, it's on the back side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody got to see if somebody's from somewhere, the neighbor or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like the attic. Maybe. 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 I don't know how an Australian roof looks. How many days? Maybe it looks different. How many days of free rent did he get? Because if he was inside. Yeah, if he was inside, that would make more sense. Like, cut the wires. Went inside, fucking moved upstairs and shit. What <laughs> the fuck, bro? That's crazy. crazy. That's creepy as fuck. That is creepy, That's nigga. Creepy, like, you bro. have no idea. You sleeping, every day you sleeping normal, nigga. You <laughs> fucking bitches. You doing your <laughs> <laughs> nigga on your roof <laughs> the whole time, nigga. He's up there a, listening uh, Who that bitch is getting He's got a, a, like, <laughs> man, He's got a OnlyFans But it's you fucking out here <laughs> Making money off your life Yeah he's making money Off your life He's over there Going inside the fridge And still snacks like, Yeah Like that house Come on That house Man this stupid bitch Ain't about gushers In a minute <laughs> Oh punk ass bitch Yeah, yeah. Oh punk ass Went on a diet Nigga this bitch Ain't that Motherfucking <laughs> Reminds me of, like, reminds me of bro man from the fourth floor. What is that from? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bro man from the fifth floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dog, I don't know. I just thought it was hilarious. The fucking topic. So I was like, I'm interested to see that house. Let me see a picture of that shit. You want to see what that what that roof looks like? Yeah, I want to see what the fuck he was working with. That's the bitch right there. Man. Would you want to live on her roof? Nah. I would. What I about live you? Live on nobody's roof. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> what do you think about her? Uh, I wouldn't want to live on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, Maybe, dude. Maybe, like, get a room inside us. Oh, that is the attic, then. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Opening. Oh, yeah. so she was in, he was in the yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That is fucked up. No, nah, but would you want to live in her that roof? article is fucking on. They were trying to get some <laughs> clickbait. They were like, on the roof. Yeah. 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 I'll live in my roof. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. More people are going to click it if they think he was living on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's cute enough to live on her roof. I mean... It's in not the room. worst person, I guess. Like, <laughs> if you get to, if you have to choose whose roof you're gonna live in, she's not like the horrible. If I choose the roof to live in. It'd be my roof. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but if you're in that lifestyle where you have no choice, you need to live in somebody's roof. You saying know, you would live like in this girl's roof? She got a small roof, bro. Huh? She looked like she got a small roof. I don't know. <laughs> Why? 
Like you need a beanie bag. Sleep when did we get so? When did we? Be, <laughs> when did we become such assholes that we wouldn't want to live in her roof? Look at her. I'm an asshole if I live in her roof. That's what I'm <laughs> I'm an asshole for living there, I'm not paying know, rent. Well, and moving the furniture around and shit. Who think I mean, she's cute. <laughs> I'm just saying she's cute. Let's move on. All right. So uh, Larry King passed away, man, at 87. Mm. Mm-mm. What do you think, man? He's an OG. Yeah, he's an OG. Legend in the game. game. Yeah, he's one of the first cats to do all that, you know, interview. That nigga interviewed Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think I seen an interview with him and Mac Miller recently. It's crazy mm. that you say that. It Mac was like Miller? two or three days oh, ago. How did he die, Brad? Mac Miller you know? passed away. No, I don't know. Larry King I think passed it was, away. Like with COVID oh, or some shit. Oh, yeah. Hospitalized with COVID three weeks yeah. ago. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Larry COVID King. took another one, bro. Damn, man, you know. I thought it was, you know. That's the old dude, like a uh, scrawny dude with the glasses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, that yeah, does yeah. The, 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 does the, he has like no intro song. He's just like, welcome tonight. To, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. there's no intro music. Like, damn, this he's nigga. He's the same age forever, just gets to bro. The point. Yeah. Like, he's been old his whole life. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Morgan <laughs> Freeman. <laughs> yeah. Morgan Freeman, too, dude, bro. He yeah. interviewed Pac one time. He interviewed everybody. Yeah, yeah. I had seen one recently with him and Mac Miller. It was crazy because they ran it on his birthday. He was like, I know you're going to be bigger than what you are, blah, blah. It was kind of sad to see because the dude passed yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because Mac Miller is like he's super dope, man. Yeah. Like, man, he was Blaise, one of the first been, artists that yeah. made me feel like him and like Wiz and like some of those when I got to college yeah. that made me feel like I could be like myself and I had to be this yeah. extra person and so aggressive all the time. Yeah. And, like, yeah, and I really bro. liked the fact about him that he was so transparent and just fun. Like, fun. you get fun energy and you look like look, this guy's just having a good time. Exactly. And that's what yeah, I want to be for people. Like, it's just, just having yeah. fun. What the, what's the harm in this shit? Like, that's he was never like, I gotta be the tough rapper. Yeah, I don't want to be this and shooting people and blah blah blah. blah yeah, he was just enjoying it. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do that shit because I gotta to work tomorrow. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, bro, as soon as I heard fucking Kool Aid and Frozen Pizza, I was a fucking fan. Yeah, bro. I did that beat on one of my on Bed I Wreck One. I think that was like oh, a lot shit. of his beats. Yeah, I did it. I nice, redid it. Nice. <laughs> we did a few beats on. Uh, which one did we do a few beats uh, on? Coronas and Kush, maybe. Oh, Coronas and Kush, probably. Okay, yeah, we did a few of them. But R.I.P. Larry King and Mac Miller, man. I didn't yeah, know that was sure, gonna man. come up. Well, let's at least Larry on. King got to live a full life. Sounds like a, yeah, a about, and I'm pretty sure he had a great ass one too. Yeah, yeah. Interviewing all these. Oh icons yeah, man. And shit, Larry bro. King was on CNN his whole life. Yeah. It's like man, he he wasn't broke. Nah, hell no. Nah, he was sure. doing his thing. Hell yeah, you know what I'm bro. saying, but man, I didn't know it was a COVID thing. I, again, man. That shit sucks, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. So, um, Little Wayne had a pardon uh, party. In Miami, bro, because he got pardoned. Party, party. A pardon party. 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 Did he say pardon me? Yeah. <laughs> but he had a pardon party because uh, Trump got him off, bro, off yeah. his gun charge. Was Kodak Black there? And, no, I don't think Kodak Black was there. But Kodak, Kodak Black, Black is in jail, right? He's, He's out, out, too. He got pardoned, too. Yeah, he got pardoned, too. They but both not got off pardoned. though, because he, he has a sexual assault case. He got yeah, pardoned right. for the gun charge. Uh, but oh, the only reason he got pardoned was because him and Lil Wayne have the same attorney. Oh. So he was working the deal. He's like, all right, if you're going to take off Lil Wayne, he's like, can you get this one off of, of uh, Kodak Black, too? Damn. They got the same attorney. So that was Damn. just... He got yeah. the benefit of having a good attorney. That's what why he got part Tiger King. The dude that oh, pulled up and everything. He had him live already. I know, man. God, God ugly, damn bro. it, dude. You think he cried that night, bro? Dog, that was a sad <laughs> shit. He got his beat up probably. In Dog, prison. we were going to have a whole, in. like, the whole fucking uh, Tiger King coming home party here <laughs> on the show today. Party party. But we're the nigga didn't even. Party, party, but... Damn, man. Tiger King, we were bro. We waiting in his limo for him to get back. Man, no, man. Tiger King, man. God damn it, dude. With you, brother. That's fucked. With you. That's fucked. Tiger King. You know they were there during Did somebody the Somebody tell him he was gonna get pardoned. And it was he confusing. Thought. Who? Somebody must have told him though. Like somebody had to like mention it to yeah. him. Like you wouldn't just go all above and beyond and have a limo <laughs> waiting outside. Because you know all the rest of the prisoners yeah, are gonna be saucy. Must, yeah. You're gonna beat your ass up when you come back in. Yeah, yeah. Or why did anybody feel? Or why did anybody feel like? Or why was Trump like, yo, I'm about to not be president. Let me pardon a bunch of niggas. Like why did he even think that way? Because he's a fucking asshole. Like just to I mean, that's usually other. the exit plan when a president leaves. That's the last thing they do. I think there should be oh, like a thirty-day. Is a day. common thing then? Some, okay. Yeah, Obama did it when he left. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think there should be like a thirty-day on that. Fuck, like, bro. hold on, right before you get out of office, and you probably shouldn't be able to do it if you're getting in the middle of getting impeached. Because that seems like some sketch ass <laughs> shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. There was some other sketch ass people that were pardoned. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, particularly yeah, a lot of pardons. Yeah. Well, you know, well, you know that the guy. Okay, I don't well, know if all y'all know this. It's like yeah. creepy, bro. But he bro. did that shit for Lil Wayne and them because he knew it was gonna take. That was what was gonna take the forefront and the rest uh, of these other motherfuckers that were getting yes, pardoned in the back. Exactly. Like, yeah. You think, you, think, you think that's why he sold all his masters or didn't have something to do? Who with was that? it? Uh, 
Uh, Wayne. He sold all his masters? And Lil Wayne sold all the masters. Yeah, we were so talking who? about that a few episodes ago. Damn, you think he had to give Trump some bread to get yeah, him out? Yeah, man, something. Man. man. Had to pay the attorney. Man. Now it makes a little sense. But I, want, I was wondering just why he wanted to be pardoned. Was there something that was stopping? Well, he just got a gun case, a new one. Yeah. Oh, so whoa. he didn't even go to trial. He already got pardoned. I understand that, but like, what is it? Was it not worth like just going to the trial and just taking? No, because he already caught a gun case, so he can't. Oh, he have thought he was gun. gonna do time. Right? Yeah. No, oh, he's gonna do okay. time. He was gonna do time. You can't have a gun. Went, you already time. got a felony. You can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time though? Because I don't know. Because it, it's like, like it's just deals like that. It's like it never comes without a back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it yeah. never comes without a back. Like you owe me this. Like Godfather. Like when the time calls. Yeah. I'm, a, like, so I'm always skeptical taking anything from anybody because there's yeah. always a, something in the background that comes. With. Yeah. I'm really always true. thinking that shit. So I would have rather done the time. Some yeah. in some cases <laughs> than be fucking with Trump. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't really that's trust true. dude. Because that's all I tell people all the time. I'm like, and like, oh, this dude say he got a label deal. Like, but what is he getting out of it? Because you understand. And motherfuckers not doing everything, anything. Yeah, yeah, you might do something, but like, there's always a, a back end. Like, just you gotta know what people's intentions are when they're yep. giving you shit and that shit type of shit. I just try to think about that. Yeah. Trying to be ahead of the game. Yeah, I'm playing man. chess out here. That's oh, true. Really? That's <laughs> like knocking Fuck down right. a fat bitch. One day she gonna bring it up to everybody. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucked me, right? No, what? And I'm gonna be over there like, nigga, I don't know that bitch. <laughs> but y'all not gonna believe me, right? That bitch got proof. Yeah, she got proof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck me all up, nigga. But I wouldn't lie anyways, nigga. I don't care. She's fat. Whatever, nigga. Fuck y'all, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't say like what? Oh, y'all are over. Y'all are too big to fuck fat bitches. Fuck y'all niggas. She's gonna release the sex tape before it starts. It's fun until your friends catch you doing it. You know, yeah. It's like riding a moped. I'm a good nigga. I'm a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm fine with it. Uh, no, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's not right. fat, That's a matter of opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way you right. put it. Right. She's thick. Hilarious. To me, she was thick. You know what I'm saying? To y'all, she's fat. To me, Depends she's thick. how many thick. beers you drank, but you know what? You be good. But we are sad that the Tiger King didn't get out, man, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But it's weed. We tried to put a hit on somebody. It's all this weed. I think it was his hairstyle, bro. That's not the word. Cream exotic. Let me find out. So that oh, so you're telling me that that nigga didn't have a mullet? He would have got out? Yeah, the mullet fucked him up. Well, bro, it's gonna be Nicolas Cage. They said they ain't let him out because he was uh, homosexual. That they didn't want to be attaching themselves to that. That he was gonna get out, but the fact he was homosexual, Trump didn't want to be let him. No, hey, they got standards. Like Trump put all those laws in place about like can't be transsexual, going into the military, all these like you know biased ass. So he didn't want to let him out because of that. That's supposedly. Oh, you know what I was gonna say. He let out. I don't know if y'all know this, but Death Row Records was started by Suge Knight and like some gangster the other gangster. Dude, the other dude got out. He got yeah, out. Yeah, he got out. But he was a always thing. a part of the he ownership was on the of Death side Row. Of things. But he was he in prison the whole time. Oh, okay. He was never free during the Death Row being Death Row. So you think something new is gonna happen now that he's released? Well, I think he's gonna be looking for his bread. Ooh, he's gonna Shook? be collected. Well, where's my Shook bread? Yo. Shook ain't getting huh? out. Nobody better not let that no, dude out. No, Suge's never getting out. <laughs> he did too much bashing in his life. Yeah. To be right out. But I think the guy, even though, he was in, it, like, yeah. even though he's in prison, he has money because they sold everything from Death Row. Sure he has money, but... So he had to get paid. He's still an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not Suge, the guy. Oh, the other guy. He had to have got... He has to yeah, have yeah, money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he Because bread. Suge sold everything. He had to, he has to break bread. I'm pretty sure he has percentage of Even whatever. if you're in jail, you still have, you still have a bank account. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You have something to come home to. Nah, he's got to break bread or else they'll come looking for his family or something. Yeah, Suge's family? Yeah. I know Suge's son comes out a lot. I'm sure Suge will kill his own family. Yeah, he's got a lot of interviews and shit. Yeah. I've seen a lot of interviews. Yeah, he has yeah. a lot of, like, he comes on a lot of, like, you know, like, you know, they, They're making a movie like or some shit. That, like, I remember about he was, Suge? Yeah, something like that. A documentary or a movie or some shit about his life. They ain't going to make it all fake. He's going to be the nice nigga. He's gonna be, yeah, now watch. 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 Like, he's going to be <laughs> all <laughs> totally... He's going to try to like, uh, make him all sentimental. Like, people yeah, can relate uh, to him. Yeah, like, yeah, but dude. he was really giving back to the community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sugar bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. Hell no. So far, we ran over that dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he came back and ran over him again. Yeah, no, was, hey, yeah. I saw the video. That nigga ran over that dude, dog. Ugly, bro. Yo, he did it. Yeah. For he no was reason. in there for no reason because he was mad that they were shooting straight out of Compton. The dude, that got, so ran got over nothing to do with you. Yeah, yeah. that's how I feel like you an asshole. Oh man, of course he's a fucking <laughs> asshole. We done heard enough stories that he's a dick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, so Joe Exotic ain't getting out. That's a sad thing. Sad day for us. Um, <laughs> if I had to pick between Suge and Joe, it'd be Joe. So anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. No, but I mean, why do you hate? Him? Why do you don't like Joe Exotic, man? No, I don't, I don't like him. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> no, he still tried to murder somebody else too. He didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to no, pay that nah, girl, bro. We all agree that man, she killed her husband. Yeah, bro. I, know, bro. I feel I, like he paid her to go skate to Puerto Rico, wherever his other chick was. He was like, here, oh. I'll give you this bread. I
Cause I don't know. She's Damn, on, that's you what I, that's everything. My just give me feels like, that'll work. I feel like he was already like, I'm done with it. I don't want to be. I'm gonna leave to another country. Yo. He's probably dead by now, right? But he wanted to leave with his other chick in another yeah. country because he was going back and forth, right, with the tigers and all that shit in the documentary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like he paid her off. He's like, I'll give you this bread. You can start a new life. Like I'm done. I'm just gonna disappear. It's like people gonna oh, think you killed me, but there's no never gonna have proof. And he had yeah. enough money to make everything go away. And he's in Puerto and the Rico cops didn't even go look for him because the cops probably knew too. They're like the, they probably knew they were his homies. They're like, Damn, man. we know he left. Yeah, I feel like he did because they would have found him if he wasn't. Yeah, this nigga should have been a detective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching this shit. I'm looking at it like, man, I know he went off somewhere and went with his chick to Puerto Rico, and now he's yeah. living on an island somewhere with a tiger, yeah. with another tiger, or whatever. Yeah, the tiger and a bitch, a bad bitch, yeah. just oh, chilling. Oh. He was rich. He had yeah, enough he money to rich. make all that shit go away. He left her everything, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he left her like a couple million dollars and his company, and he was like, all right, here you go. Yeah. And he bounced. Now, we don't support yeah. Carol Baskin on this show, bro. Cats and kittens. <laughs> but uh, Joe Exotic, man. She's hey, just as crazy as him. You, they both should yeah, bro. They're nuts. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that was all fucking crazy and shit. So check this out, dude. How about this shit? A confused wife stabs her husband thinking photos show him with this. other women, but it was really her, nigga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sounds like something that. my girl would do. That's why the root of all that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Savage. Whose panties are these? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're mine. Uh, <laughs> they're you're always stabbing. Who the fuck is that in the hey, phone? Oh, that's me. you kidney. <laughs> <laughs> they're yours. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. God damn. You're in the kitchen sink trying to save Fucking the blood. Leaking, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Did she kill him or did she just stab him? She killed him. She Lock killed him. Oh she killed him. No. Yeah. Lock her up, bro. Lock her up. I saw the, I saw the article Lock too. Lock her I think up. she killed him. They got her on there like Chapo. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like Chapo. They got her on there like <laughs> El Chapo, nigga. Hell yeah, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck, bro. Make an example. So she saw the sex tape and then she shit. realized that it was her. <laughs> no, photos. Oh, photos. Yes, she saw photos of him with her. She might have been awesome. The phones were, I mean, the, the pictures were on the phone, or where she see these pictures at? Facebook? I don't know the whole scoop. <laughs> but she crazy. saw photos, and it was really her the whole time, and she that's, didn't even know. That's fucked up. What the fuck is wrong with that that's bitch? Up. Hey, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes women react that's bad, That's why the bro. root of all evil is assumptions, you know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah, money, it's assumptions. Don't be assuming shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah, tell man. you a funny that's story a real quick. Pointer. I'll tell you a funny story. <laughs> I was at a red light one time. Yeah. I had just met my, my lady that I'm with I now. stories. I was, you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a new couple. We're chilling. We went to go. Guys, so y'all holding hands and stuff. And you yeah, 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 I'm holding hands and shit. We're riding. We're in, yeah. the, we're in the south what side. What are you listening to? Uh, I don't remember. Ice Bros? Nah, we weren't oh, jamming James. nothing yet. We just oh. left the house, dude. We just pulled out <laughs> of her mom's. Radio on, yeah. We just pulled out of her mom's neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we're at the stoplight. The first stoplight we hit. Yeah. You know, and then we're waiting. About to make that lift. And then her mom pulls up. Yeah. My girl's looking at me. And I look at it, and I'm like, that's her mom. I'm like, she's like, who the fuck are you waving at? Who the fuck is that? She turns around like, that's your mama? <laughs> I was like, that's your mom. That's your mom. She's like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> nah, bro. He's like, hey, but she was on fire, bro. She really thought I was waving at some random female. Nah, you're better than me. We, 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 we broke up that day. <laughs> if it's me. Now I'm done with you. We ain't talking again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do yeah, it, bro. Mama, you know what? You can go take, get in the car with her. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, get off. Matter of fact, go over there. Like, nah, oh, that, that, that's, that's a crazy. different kind of... I don't do good with jealousy. Me like braids like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't do good with jealousy. Nah, I, don't I don't like, like a woman to be either. jealous. <laughs> yeah. I don't like a woman. I need to do what the... F- I don't like insecure women. I need to do yeah, what yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah, I have I freedom. Yeah, because I'm super, super chill, and I like I don't like that shit. Yeah. I don't ever assume. I just be like... Don't start no motherfucking scene, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, that shit's bad, man. You know what I mean? It's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah, I'm super yeah. chill. I'm super chill, too. I, I mean, like it's a little bit fun, but it's not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, the, the, but the crazies are better than bad. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Depends on what you like, what yeah. you want. I like peace. What do you really want? I like yeah, I like peace. Yeah, it's all cool. We can have, care, look, look, we can have missionary for life, and just as long as you're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't tripping. You know what I'm I go with my friends I suck her straight missionary you fucking <laughs> schmuck yeah, <laughs> yeah nigga funny, but I'm not gonna man. get stabbed to death you know what I'm saying also true I'm still busting a nut that's, that's, that's a good point that's a good point it wasn't as crunk as your nut but like, yo, I'd, rather, I'd rather get stabbed <laughs> I'd rather get stabbed cause then she getting stabbed after that <laughs> hey, you can see you turn around my kidney bitch turn around 
<laughs> we still <laughs> we still doing this shit. Fucking <laughs> 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 murder. Hey, pass that shit up. Keep going. <laughs> and you know what? Like when you go to a rooster fight, you see the rooster fighting and they're dying and they're fucking they fucking sold them motherfuckers again, throw them back out there. Like, go, yeah, nigga, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, 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 motherfucking rooster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to chill out before Eternal nah, Girl shows up to the yeah. show. I feel like she can hear us. <laughs> she gonna call for the cell phone about to go off right now. I know y'all talking about me. Don't do it. Hey, so check this out, dog. Fucking uh, ludicrous is Mercedes Benz got stolen while he was at the ATM machine. He left that hoe on. Oh, shit. Uh, and he goes to the ATM, just not left my, that hoe. Mercedes Benz, though. And it's somebody jumped down and took it. <laughs> He's from Atlanta. He should know better. I know. Why the fuck you gonna leave your car and jump out that bitch? That's how rich he is that he just, he, yeah. ain't, tri- he ain't tripping. He ain't tripping. Yeah, like, fuck he it. He should have been smart and just, uh, but it should be press to start. If you have the key in your pocket, that bitch gonna turn off down the street. I like, <laughs> there you go. Well, my gun. That's bitch, true. you stupid motherfucker. You thought you gonna steal true. my car. I think they found it, because look, it says, uh. Yeah, it probably turned off. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> well, look, he flagged down the police. That's true, he probably had the key to the pocket. Yeah. He flagged down the police and told them that he heard the vehicle speed away while so he was at the ATM. Is a snitch now or what? Hey. Hey. I told that nigga's a detective, bro. No, it's a thin line. It's a thin That's line. That's true. Hey. That's so true. Investigators tracked the vehicle until it was found at an apartment complex. So, yeah, they found his car. They got all the way home, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're up there and shit. They got they groceries now. Hey, guess who car is going to Little Chris? Come on. They're watching out the window when they get in. <laughs> hey, look out the window while they get I mean, Little Chris' car. Like, that's a tight story to tell. As long as they didn't strip it down and sell it, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's what, it's just lesson learned, though. Let me leave your fucking car on. A car is that expensive? Like, there's, there's, there's yeah, ways. I'll be leaving it. my car on, too, but it ain't that expensive. I'm like, yeah, I got to truck yeah, that yeah, box. Get that motherfucker. I ain't sure I'm going to get that whole paid off right now. My credit score is going <laughs> Damn, bro. So, uh, Ludacris is fine, guys, so don't worry about him. Right. Hey, uh, oh, shit. I wasn't worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, what the fuck Ludacris Rich got Fast and the, fast and the Furious money? Right. Yeah, oh, true, yeah, that man. nigga balling. Yeah. He's balling. That's why he can snitch bro. now because he went into white. He's, in, he's in white America now. <laughs> when you get into another tax yeah, bracket, you, know, you can like, snitch. Nobody going to care if I snitch no more. Yeah. He's like, the hood don't even accept me no more. I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Damn man! <laughs> so after you do a few Fast and Furious, the hood don't accept you no, no more. I don't think they do. I think you they're can't, jealous. You can't, you can't go back. <laughs> they're like you sold out for the white man. After that movie, <laughs> yeah, I mean, making like ten is... of them bitches. There's another one coming out. No, like, that yeah. is like that was like his rebrand, bro. Like yeah, as yeah. an actor, yeah. it was Fast oh, and Furious. Oh, who, there was another. Uh, uh, rapper that was supposed to be Ja Rule. Yeah, it was Ja Rule, yeah. right? Oh, that's why he's in that one road, movie. Bro. He passed up on it. Oh, yep. he was supposed to be ludicrous. Yeah, yep. but he didn't Damn. want it because they didn't want to give him enough money. Damn. But that's he really crazy. fucked up. That's why sometimes the forefront money and you got that fucking. Uh, he thought it was big and bad at the time. Like yep. I need more money, yep. but you take it and because it could with the potential that it might grow. That's yeah. where all my chips always are. Like you throw a little future. bit. Yeah. yeah, like it might be something. He was only in Fast and Fierce for like ten minutes on that one. He got in there afterward. I think after the fact. After he after the guy, so he tried to get back in. Like yeah. remember, that's when he betted the girl. Yeah, Monica. He's like, Monica! Monica! Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, ja Rule dressed. Ja Rule been, dressed like Ja Rule in a fucking Civic. Get the fuck been, out of here! It would have been whack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been whack. Hearing burning. his voice the whole yeah. time for nine movies, anyways. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think yeah. no one could have done it like Chris, bro. I think yeah. they would do. If it was Ja Rule, they wouldn't invite him back. It wouldn't have been cool, especially after Fifty Cent killed him. Yeah. yeah. Why would they want him in a Fast and Furious movie? You know what yeah. I'm saying? After that beef, nah, you can't be in Unless Fast and Furious. Unless you got 50 to come in and he did less on the 50 would not agree. Ludacris played. Uh, hey, but Ludacris uh, hasn't been in other movies, right? It's only Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah, that was it. I've like, never seen him in anything else. Uh, Who's in that movie Crash? Which one? Yeah, Crash. Hustle Crash. and Flow. Oh, yeah. Crash. Crash. Oh, Crash. Crash. He played a good role that in Crash. That was good. That's a good movie. That's, good. Yeah. Both those that's movies, my favorite movie of all time, bro. Like Crash. Both those movies, not really big roles. Crash, well, Crash was, was bro, because because I think it Hustle like won awards and Not shit. Really? A little bit. I don't know. I, yeah, he wasn't like the main character. Skinny pimp. <laughs> yeah. Was well, he skinny pimp? At the pimp? very end. Skinny black. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> skinny black. Oh, he got killed like, in the restaurant. He restroom or something. Skinny black. He got beat up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He yeah. gets yeah. all drunk and shit, and he's pissing on that nigga's tape. That's yeah. fucked yeah. up. Yeah. No, nah, he deserved yeah, that ass whooping. No lie. Right? Yeah, he had that shit coming, bro. But Ludacris did look like a nigga that would do that for yeah. real, though. Right? Like, right? Yeah, he yeah, looks yeah, like he would yeah, piss yeah. on your album, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up, nigga. Yeah. 
But then you're supposed to like him because he used to do those animated videos. Like, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's cool. He could piss on my shit because he fucking had a big old head in that video. Yeah. That's fuck just... that. <laughs> yeah, he's a bitch nigga for that, With bro. With the big old arms and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a different video, right? Or yeah. that's the same one? No, that's no one. that was another one. But yeah, he used to do the weird, yeah, he's yeah. funny doing shit. shit. That was like comedy, yeah. yeah. Remember he had the big old chain with a midget on that house? <laughs> Like, do you bet you ate? But Ludacris was a dope ass rapper. Yeah, yeah. right. I I my that. Necklace. That chicken and beer, I think, was the first album I had heard from him. Was it that? That was it called Chicken and Beer. That was one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That and was one of the good ones. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Uh, what was the very first one, dog? Uh, the very first Ludacris was. Uh, was Word of mouth first? Uh, word of mouth. mouth came. No, no, no. The very, that was that. another after one. Though, okay. Before Word of mouth. That was before my time. What was it? Disturbing the peace or. I think it might oh, have been just I thought he was, he was the first put people, I mean, one of the first artists to put on for like UGK and shit. Because he was from the mm-hmm. South. Oh, yeah, I remember so he had him on that. Putting them on uh, albums uh, and shit. Song. Yeah, that was yeah. like, yeah. Also, he was he the first, after that, it was like, I know T.I. and them, a couple other people started Stick em coming. Stick them up. Yeah. Stick them up, up, stick them up, up. Yeah, I can stick see them, see them. That, that was the shit. I think him and Scarface got some kind of relationship. Well, where, Scarface uh, was the uh, the the president of the Laser. There you go. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But fuck, dude. And then Ludacris kind of just disappeared. Yeah. Or you think Ludacris was out of the album now is still the same? He's not. He don't have what he had? The last one he had was the one with that, uh, I know it's strange, but my brain going really insane. And I'm off the chain, sipping on a fifth for the golden grain. I feel like slapping a nigga today. I forgot uh, what album that is. That was around crash time. Feel like, that album was pretty. That, that was the last blueberry album. Cook or blueberry yeah, yeah, blueberry young, 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 Oh, that was yeah. a jam. That was yeah. the last album where I had really listened to it. Like his whole body of work. It was pretty yeah. tight. He had about four or five bangers on there. Man, yeah, that used to be my anthem, man. Slapping nigga today. I feel like slapping a nigga today. I could be driving to work playing that old. I did not fucking think that we were going to talk so much about by Ludacris because his goddamn car got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your favorite comedy movie? The shit comedy we movie? choose to go favorite into of all time, all comedy time? movies. Shit, comedy movie, yeah, la, 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 la. comedy movie. Probably the past because I grew up watching it a hundred million times even though it's not yeah, it doesn't stand dude. up with all the rest of the movies but of all yeah. time yeah. I feel like a lot of my style I got from like the past and it was like the first John time I, I even write John Lee Guzamo every day like, he liked yeah. one of my posts when I posted of him he liked that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be writing him every day like trying to get him to write me back and shit I'm like bro because yeah. that was the first time I saw a young Latino on film yeah. in a big movie bro yeah. and I was like yeah, I related yeah. to it because he was cool but he was also like kind of dorky and funny but he was doing like slick shit hanging out with his buddies and it was like I I don't know. It just was tight to me. It was the first time I seen a, a Hispanic that looked like him. Right. And was like, had some swag to him. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. And it was also funny swag, as fuck. Yeah. Right. yeah. The past, I watched it so many times. I watched it about I, I used to rent that movie I rented it about 150 times My mom used Dang. to take me To this one uh, Little I don't know if Y'all probably know it Because y'all from the hood It was like a trailer But it was a movie that theater was like rental. House. Oh yeah Off of Bertrand It was Jax or something yeah. Yeah. Jack, It was Jax or something It was off of Bertrand It was a trailer Just with movies yeah, in That was the only place nigga. I could find yeah. it On Parker ain't it Oh, that yeah, was on Parker. Yeah, I think yeah. it was somewhere right. Yeah, yeah. yeah Parker. That was at the corner right there, dude. Yes. Yeah, I used to always go in there. And when the dude sold the place, he sold me the movie because I had rented so many Damn. times. Damn, he was like, "Take this like, motherfucker." Yeah, he's like, "I'm about to be out of business." You don't ever like, rewind it anyway. Yeah, I'm about to out of, about a month. I'm about to be gone. He's like, "If you want to buy it." And at the time, it was That's not crazy. Amazon. You couldn't really find movies that place anywhere. Yeah. So I bought. we had bought it from him because I bought it so much. I rented it so much. Every time yeah. I go there. Same movie, same movie. It'd be that one in like The Giver or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite gangster flick? Gangster flick? Time, of all time. <laughs> shit, gangster flick, gangster flick. Probably Blood and Blood Out for sure. All uh, right. If that I like could be that considered. It's kind of like a prison movie. Yeah. Other one. Yeah. The other one too is like, uh, what's the other one that fuck can't think of the name? I be, you know what? I barely watched The Godfather for the first time like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. It's just long as fuck. It took yeah, like three days to watch it. It is. I can't find Part two. One. Just part one. Yeah, watch part yeah. two and part three. I gotta two. watch the next. I can't yeah, find them like streaming. Them. Part three is dope too. Part I liked them. I liked them a lot. But yeah, I think Blood and Blood Out was probably yeah, for Blood the same reasons. Yeah. For the same reasons, because I saw young Hispanics on film that yeah, were like yeah. cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think we all felt that way, right? Yeah, when we saw yeah. Hispanics. Yeah. I remember but House he, of Buggin' that John Leguizamo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But hey, John Leguizamo. Oh, in the Empire movie. Empire. Hard. That's what I'm talking about. Empire. 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 That's one of my oh, favorites. Yeah. Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Empire doesn't one. get mentioned enough in yeah, the gangster yeah. flicks. Yeah. Empire. Empire. I got shit. Empire at the house. Yeah. Yeah. I love Empire. You got me yeah. in Empire. I just like the soundtrack on that because there's like a bunch of salsa music in the background. It just, the vibes of that movie is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what makes movies a lot of times for me. The soundtrack. Like, what movie's going on in the background? Because, like, especially like Belly. I feel like Belly. 
isn't yeah. that strong of a movie without the soundtrack. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the intro track is like, yeah, that, oh, it's just hard. Yeah. It's like epic. Well, it was by Hype Williams, right? Yeah, yeah, Hype that's why it looks like a music video. Yeah. But that's just, oh, I wish, man, I wish I Hype would have did the part two, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did. No, no, did. He oh, didn't different. do part two. It was different actors though, yeah. in it, though, right? Yeah, they had game in that whole game. was in it. Stupid. That was whack, bro. The game is I love game, but that's movie stupid. But he was a good actor in that one movie, Ways Deep. Oh, yeah, he was. He played a good, a good yeah. role when he had he that one. He does play out. a good bad guy, right? Yeah, because he's a fucking asshole, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love games. He's one of my favorite an artists. He's be beefing with yeah. 50 and, and almost win. <laughs> one of my favorite, uh, like, uh, go back and forth this series is game. We had bars and running, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that's when we still had... Kaza or Kaza, I don't know how to say Kaza, it. Right? Yeah. It took me forever to download that bitch, like a whole day. I had to go to school, come back, and still wasn't finished. I'm like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Just to hear game this Just to hear game this and a, like, uh, uh, buy me a Blues Clues and SpongeBob. He's like, gee, you not, not. Now yeah. I just start wrecking, wrecking. Damn, that nigga killed it. <laughs> hey, but John Link was almost a good actor, period. Yeah, yeah. Like, in anything. That, Even he when he has a serious role, role, he's good. Yeah. If he does a funny, he's good. If he, he was on Spawn and he killed yeah, he that one. He was the clown. Yeah, I wanted to be that for Halloween, but there was no Halloween oh, party to go to. I watched that movie that you posted <laughs> about the guy that did a truck, a food truck. Oh, yeah, truck. the food truck. Yeah, that, that was, was a good was movie. Tight. John Leguizamo. Yeah, John Leguizamo was in it. The last one I recently watched is Critical Thinking. It's about, like, uh, dudes playing chess. I think they're in New York or based out of there. It's, like, Hispanics and black dudes playing chess. And, like, he's the teacher of the chess team. It's a true story. Oh, it, did it just it's come out? Critical Thinking, yeah. Like, on Prime or some yeah, shit? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's fire. About. It's a tight yeah. ass movie. Yeah, that's tight. I feel like he's trying to do di- like make different roles, like less of like hood shit and shit. Put Latinos in more different positions. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, the yeah, shit yeah, I yeah. like. That's yeah, why nice. I, like I don't like Tyler Perry movies, but I like the fact that he puts African Americans um, in spots that are like like they're not gangsters, they're not rappers, they're not ball players. They're like the they're regular lawyers and doctors that just have relationship problems. Like yeah, that yeah. shit is tight because it's like yeah. nobody sees that shit. And mm-hmm. I think that's why he's so successful, even though some of his movies are are cheesy, but some of them are you know decent enough. Yeah, I feel like if we had that, then our movies will, will pop. You know what I'm saying? I just hate every time that they do like a black flick and it's like the like a black all black cast mm-hmm. all that everybody in that bitch is a doctor lawyer they're all balling like how come <laughs> niggas can't be poor in a movie nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like they're always really re- oh, and then, or they're always really good looking yeah, they ain't yeah. no ugly niggas out here like, they ain't no fat niggas you know what I'm saying like fuck niggas I hate that shit like how realistic is that yeah, you know yeah, yeah. or when they all do movies though I feel like sometimes yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, she's gotta be fine that's the fantasy they nigga. paint man. they yeah. paint that fantasy you know what I'm saying I hate that I don't yeah. like I'm it there no ugly person for two hours bro ah, you see you see <laughs> you're the problem you're part of the problem yeah, you're part of the fucking problem dude. that's why I'm never gonna get an Oscar cause of you nigga <laughs> that's a funny movie then, wait. <laughs> yeah, so, if oh you're, you're fat you can be in a jokes. funny movie yeah, yeah you can be in a funny movie <laughs> hey you have some personality with your ugly ass that's true hey cause the nigga from Dewey Cox that nigga's ugly but he's in a lot of movies I love him uh, tell the nigga sometimes you're ugly yeah. enough to, to the point where people accept you you be ugly enough yeah <laughs> you, can, you can be a, like a, I love him he's ugly I love him, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, think about it. Jonah Hill, when he was fat, everybody loved him. You know, yeah, yeah, him, right? yeah, yeah. I loved him fat. That's yeah. true. I don't like him skinny so much. Yeah. It's because <laughs> right? the, 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 the factor of the laughing factor is not there as much. Yeah, no yeah more. like, oh, skinny nigga thinks he's funny. Like, I hate that shit. But a fat yeah, nigga dude. funny, like, oh, good I get that. Ass, yo, perfect hair. Yeah. yeah. Hey, funny, what that bro. girl says, Step Brothers, I just want to stick you in my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the ball. <laughs> yeah, let's have you in there. The one you move your head. <laughs> Man, I don't know why the fuck we're talking about that shit, bro. Hey, fucking Tom Brady made it to the Super Bowl, dude. That's the On a whole other team. Bro. That's crazy, bro. Dog, he's the best ever. Yeah, he's the GOAT now. He's the best ever. He's the best ever. He's the best ever. He's the best because the fact that he, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, Tom Brady did it without you. So it's yeah. like, were you Man. really the best? He was attached to a success. Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah. But he, he, shook but he that. didn't make it to the playoffs. Yeah, Brady did So if you were such now, a good bro. coach, I don't know. That's, That's true. That's yeah. <laughs> true. Who's really the good? Your Tom Brady, yeah. what happened? Tom Brady still went to the, play, to the Super Bowl. If Tom Brady wins, <laughs> that means he's 70% in the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Whoa. Fuck, yeah. dude. That's, That's like crazy. fucking LeBron. He's in the finals every year. I read a stat that it said that uh, uh, fucking Tom Brady, the amount of years that he's been and made it to the Super Bowl, and with, or compared to the amount of years he's been in the league, is a higher percentage than if Steph Curry will make a three. Damn. What his the percentage fuck? of making it to the Super Bowl is higher than Steph Curry's percentage of making a three point. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's, That's, fucking crazy. Crazy. That That's just... nuts. He's the best three point. I'm just like mind blown. I'm like, this dude is so <laughs> Doc, I was watching Sports Center earlier, and they were and they had like they were like talking about they had a, they literally had a conversation. They were saying if Mahomes if Mahomes doesn't beat Brady, then he can't be in the conversation of 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 uh. 
of being a GOAT. Why is he in it anyway? He's a yeah. fucking... He just won one ring. I think that GOAT shit is overrated, yeah. man. That's fucking... I don't they, know. They, they just gotta, need something gotta, to talk about. Pre- yeah, it's always like, oh, is he the GOAT? Is he not? Like, man, bro, who cares? Bro? Dude's good, and we can't deny that fact. <laughs> or maybe they just... It's a loosely used term. Yeah, yeah I think man, it's a juicy yeah, yeah, you know, like, well, yeah. people call themselves a GOAT. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the goat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a meme right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're the goat. Right. Yeah. So I'm the yeah. goat. Like, bro, I don't think that's how it works. I'm the goat. <laughs> I'm the goat. God, yeah. Yeah. That little cool Jay called either. himself the goat. Yeah, his whole album was goat. <laughs> yeah, man, cool LL Cool J, the same guy that did the what was he's the goat though. He is the goat. He, can, he is the goat. Uh, he can do that. Yeah, yeah, LL can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he, yeah. yeah he's, he's. If Jay Z put out an album called The Goat, we wouldn't hate on it. Yeah, but I don't think Jay Z would do that. He seems nah, like he's the type of guy who would never do that. Nah, he wouldn't. I, I think Jay Z. You know he just knows he's the goat. <laughs> I think Jay Z is the goat. How much more you got to flex? Your wife, your family, your rich, your basketball team. I think Jay Z is. <laughs> I think Jay-Z acts like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he isn't really, don't give a fuck and stuff like that. But I think low-key, he's a fucking hating-ass nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it real. That also makes sense, too. You know what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> I think low-key, he's a bitch-ass nigga. Yeah. Dog, even Funk Flex came out on there, and he was, and they were asking him, uh, uh, somehow it, br- they, it came up, and they were like, why do you think Jay-Z doesn't have Instagram or has anything like that? And then they were like, oh, do you think it's because he's just above it all? And then Funk Flex said, hell no, he's 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 more emotional than all y'all niggas. That's why. Yeah, he yeah. can't handle it. I can believe it. And oh, then I was like, shit. ooh, you pussy, yeah. Jay-Z. Oh, he, <laughs> you dropped pussy. It, he, he dropped the bomb on that one. Oh, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Drop a bomb, Flex. But yeah. he did say that. He well, said, because Jay-Z's more sensitive than all of you niggas. Yeah. And he's like, I know him. He's more sensitive than everybody. That's why he don't handle that shit. Because he can't handle anybody telling constantly. Uh, he wouldn't be able to handle niggas adding him like crazy, telling him he's trash or whatever. Damn. He couldn't handle it. I feel like you so, got to take, take in both in with the good with the bad. You got to listen mm, to both. Yeah, yeah but Jay-Z don't meet listen somewhere to nobody. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to listen to him and take it to heart, but yeah. you still got to be able to take it. You're in that business. You know? I think Jay-Z is, a, is on the low. Like, you know, I love Jay-Z, by yeah, the way. I love Jay-Z, But too. I think that he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of those, like, uh, like, uh, like, he pays more attention to what's going on than people think. Yeah. And no, he, for sure. Like, yo, he's petty, he just nigga. He's back way from up here. <laughs> he's a petty yeah, nigga, sure. bro. Yeah, yeah, you, see them, you see them pull the mirrors and try to check them on the side. People. They're never direct <laughs> bars. He's like side, yeah. sidestep people, like yeah. little jabs and shit. No, yeah. He's paying attention. Or when he did the but future. But Drake is sensitive as fuck, too. But yeah. Drake, at least Drake owns the shit. <laughs> right, yeah. At least Drake has a social media. You can tell him you hate him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like he's the like, only nah, way to combat that shit me. is to, like, take it head on. Yeah. If, you, if, you, that shit, if that shit hurts you, and just take it take it all away. And then you'll get over it after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You start getting used to it. Or why is it even a thing, bro, that, like, uh, like, uh, like, if somebody has an Instagram... And let's just say, like, and then they delete everything, and then but they still have their millions of followers, but they don't have like not one post, and that, that's supposed to make them cooler than I everybody that, else. I feel that. Why way does about that matter? Instagram too. I, like people delete the posts that don't get as much love, and they leave the ones that up because they're just trying to. They want to look cool when people come yeah. initially. I'm like, that's weak. But why bro, do they care? Is, now, why do you care? Like, exactly, it makes you look more weak that you care about that shit. Like, yeah. post what you want to post, and who gives a fuck if nobody say what likes you it? Say, but that's what the same thing do. with like all that other shit. People need that reassurance. Yeah, yeah exactly. fucking, we live in social media world. God, I, I got to get over that shit, and once I did, shit, my life was way better. It was way like, fuck, better. I don't give a fuck who the fuck likes or what don't that's like. That's why, dude. That's, I like it. Hey, that's why I love doing this shit, bro. Yeah, for sure. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks about. That's the attitude to have. Like, just because you, we love it. We enjoy it, and that's what we get out of it. And it. Exactly. If you love it and enjoy it, then people will start gravitating towards it. Yeah. And you'll build it, and then they'll come, and then they'll be like, damn, I should have been over here. But you know what? I'm, there's no shock value in it. That's yeah. why. I'm worried, but we're running a marathon. I'm in the long game for it. You know what I'm saying? But that's right. what I've accepted already. Like, I don't have no shock value. You know, there's not, not that I don't, but I, I'm not, that's not how I'm going to win. I don't have colored hair and tattoos on my face. I'm not going to stand outside with a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, gangsters and be like, ah, yeah, what up? But like, that's just not how I roll. You know, I'm not, that's and good. I'm also not trying to bring that energy to myself. Right. Yeah. 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 Shit. Hey, For real. You're right, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Standing around with them guns, somebody going to expect you to use one one day. Exactly. Hey, so I got something. Since you call yourself the Guapo, right? You're obviously <laughs> fucking better looking than everybody in this room. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know what I'm saying? You probably, you know, in your lifetime, no disrespect to your girl, have probably had better looking women than all of us. So, you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Eternal, don't take that shit personal, my nigga. I know you're you know what I'm saying? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> he walks off. Come back. Come back, bro. Blaze, don't record this. No, so check this out, bro. Since that's you, right? The guapo. <laughs> right? I didn't say that, man. No, wait. 
Hey, I want you to tell us. I want you to tell us what is the thin line between tricking and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I bought my chick gifts or something. Mm. What's the thin line? I like, like when it. is it tricking? We want to hear it from the guapo himself. Uh, I feel like tricking is when that's the only thing that you're getting out of that relationship is mm. the monetary value. If that's the only thing, then that's tricking. And that's where it's like gone too far, where it wouldn't. But if you're getting more, like if you just like being around that person for the energy, they cool, whatever. I guess it depends on what both people are getting out of it. I have that relationship. But, but if you're th- buying them shit and they're fucking, isn't the same thing as... <laughs> if that's all you're getting out of them, yeah. <laughs> well, right? But that depends <laughs> on what the relationship is. So basically, if you don't fuck, it's not tricking? Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, no, that's wait, wait, more If you don't fuck, that's it's more... tricking. And if you do it's fuck, it's not tricking. Is that what you're saying? Wait, what? If, if, you're you're not fuck, if you're buying them gifts and you're not fucking, that's tricking? And then no. if you do have sex, it's not tricking. I think people tricking, they I think fuck. if you're having sex, then you're just tricking. Okay, so if she doesn't fuck, then it's a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not tricking. Because when, okay, tricking, see, that's what it, yeah. when you're tricking, you're trying to get laid. That's why you're buying the shit, right? Yeah. In my brain, that's why I mm. process that. No, but why would I buy you something so we can have a conversation? Maybe you like hanging around a person. I don't yo, fucking know. Hey, yo, I bought you this Prada purse. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I bought you this Prada purse, babe. I was really hoping we could have an hour long conversation. A wise, man, a wise man, I think it's not tricking. A wise man once said it's not, it ain't tricking if you got it. So that's what You I believe that, though? Nah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. That's why we need to know from the guapo himself. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. We're old, nigga. Everything we do is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, all we do is trick. God damn, man. There you go with that weed shit again. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. It ain't it ain't tricking if it's a girl. Here yeah, you I think if you're in a relationship. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh well, man, never mind then. We should have. This should have ended a long time ago. <laughs> Turn around, all the answers. <laughs> Why do we even ask that? Yeah. Yeah. Now sports. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but so okay, so you're saying if you're buying a gift, if you're buying a girl a gift, you know what I'm saying, and you don't expect nothing out of it, then it's not tricking. Yeah, That's what you're saying? So. Yeah, I don't think so. Because maybe you're trying to make her your girl or some shit. But if you just it's just for tricking for the purpose of having sex with her, then you're tricking. But if it takes gifts you're to get tricked. her to... Yeah, that's what the trick is, Give you right? the chance to yeah. even think that's about being tricking. your girl. That's tricking. Right? It's that's tricking yeah. still. Yeah. 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 And you're not even getting nothing out of it. I'd rather a girl just be like, look, straight up, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Buy, Buy me something, something I'm fucking you. Cool, sex. thanks. And then at least oh, I don't have to talk to her. tricking. I'd rather pay a girl. A, that would be just an exchange then. You might as well, she might as well be a prostitute. My dad always told me I'd rather pay a girl to go away than yeah, pay a sure. girl to chill. <laughs> oh, but yeah, because you're paying more if yeah. you're chilling with her. Like, here we go, fuck, well, you're already paying a price. There's Never always a talk price to, you to again. be paid. Even if it's not money, there's a price to be paid for hanging out with somebody. Yeah. So you're paying even more so. So that's why sometimes if you're not trying to be with her, you might as well just give her some money to have sex. So y'all yeah. can, that's an even exchange. Like, I gave you money. That's it. We're good. We can cut the ties right there. <laughs> I think that's why I love strippers so much. They're so honest. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, they're the most they're honest. honest. But they're honest about that exchange, yes. But if they meet somebody oh, like me, honest. somebody that gives it to them honest, yeah. then they're always honest with me, too. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I have, had be- I have have had better relationships with strippers than regular bitches. Yeah, because y'all in being my honest. Lifetime. Yeah, because so, I'm like, so I, I already know what you're doing, bitch. honesty over and here. And she's like, what shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you know the game, just and better just when get cool. communication. Everybody says what they want in the forefront. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love strippers. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been a strip club in a, uh, I haven't been a strip club in a long fucking time. Yeah. But when I used to go, you know what I'm saying? I always had a bunch of girlfriend strippers. Are they strippers or are they prostitutes? Or the car girls are. Well, I mean, hey, uh, you see, you got to side jobs, man. Side yo, side are job. they? Yo, they're strippers, but then you know what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all build a bond. Y'all got a thing. Are they kind of like borderline prostitutes? Not to you, borderline car girls, right? Yeah, same thing. Because yeah, they're telling you bro. straight up, like, hey, when I get off business, when I get off work, I'm gonna come through and we, I'm gonna let you fuck, like prostitutes, little cousins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Is it? Yeah, it is. But we, at least we're honest about it. Yeah. As long what as you're think? honest, as long as they're honest about it, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> as long as there's communication Everybody agrees to the terms Then we're good so Okay not, Speaking of that right. Do you support sex workers? Yes Right? Yeah It's like a job It's their like, pussy Yeah If they wanna sell it Let them sell it I say the same thing It's dude. more fucked up That it's, it's illegal In other places And legal in Vegas Yeah that's, that's crazy weird. to me. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, I see it like they need that cash, right? They need that. They need that. They that's what they sell, right? It's like yeah. that's why it's called Sin City. They can gamble. Yeah. They can sell prostitution. They weed is legal over there. Like it's just a place where you can go in the desert. But it's more fucked up that America thinks that that's okay. Like oh, as long as you do it over there in the desert, it's cool. But if you come back over here, dude, you're going to jail for that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cross that line. That's, what yeah. kind of message are you yeah. sending yeah. to yeah. everybody? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell a story now. 
That's like, <laughs> I'm gonna okay. tell a story of when I was in Vegas. Okay. So check Close this out. Eyes, <laughs> Check this out, nigga. I went to Vegas with my boys, right? I ain't gonna say no names, cause in case these niggas listen, right? But Are they in this room? No. Okay. <laughs> I've never been to Vegas with nobody. I've never partied hard, some player ass partying yeah. with nobody in this room but but Blaze. Okay. And I'm talking about some so killer Blaze party. Vegas, no, Blaze gonna see me do some crazy. <laughs> Blaze gonna see me do some wild shit. Let's Damn, put it there. No shit. Wait, what? Nah. Nah, shit. nah Blaze right, never. Chill out, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, fuck y'all. I'm not even gonna say that. Okay. I, I don't know these niggas. So look, but then the story pertaining to the story has nothing to do with none of, nobody here. Okay. Right. Which we should have done with in Vegas. I hate that we've never <laughs> been to Vegas. Together. That's what I'm thinking. Right FYI, now. Like, Man, how the fuck did I go with other niggas and not y'all niggas? <laughs> oh, Something wrong. Vegas, so. We need to plan that, by the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to do Hard a Vegas trip. Flights, round trips, right now, Vegas. There God you go. Damn. So yeah, then, go on with the story. What? I'm telling you what I hate about Vegas. This is what the story is about, right? Went with my boy, right? And then he was like, "Yo, I mean, like he was like, yo, 'Yo, I'm gonna fucking.' He went. He took off and he went. I lost him somehow. He was partying, gambling, doing his fucking thing. And then, like, I'm sleep, right? I went, I got so fucked up, I needed to go sleep for a while to get up to have enough to go keep going. Yeah. I was that fucked up. <laughs> so I'm laid up in the bed, right? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm in that bitch, just, right? Sleep. And then all of a sudden, I feel like my bed, like, right? And I'm like, so somebody sat on it. And I said, what the fuck, right? So then I fucking, I, I moved the blankets. It's a fucking naked bitch. <laughs> right, a naked bitch on my bed. Was she living in your roof? <laughs> <laughs> she was living in somebody's roof. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck? And I can hear my homeboy, like, let me eat your pussy, all this shit. Oh, and I'm God. like, oh shit, it's going down. I acted. Hey nigga, you know you pretend sleep when your niggas fucking. You know you pretend sleep when your niggas fucking home. Yeah, nah, nah nigga, don't no front. <laughs> hey, you never. Well, y'all had like uh, two beds in the same hotel room? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, with two yeah, beds in one yeah. room. Bro, Don't act like you never fake sleep. The same bed, yeah, <laughs> nigga, come on, at least give me that, guys. <laughs> Have no. you ever fake sleep with your yeah. nigga's fucking hoes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Nah. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You done it with Not me. Not in the same bro. room, but... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so check it out. I'm lying. You never, you never done it before. So check it out. Look, so... so look, I'm, I'm fake sleep, nigga. I'm fake sleep. Because when I look, right, I see... All I seen was an ass. She was black. I seen a black ass. And I was like, oh, I said, oh shit. This nigga's about to fuck, right? And I hear him. And he's like whispering on some sex shit, sexy shit. I'm like, I'm eat your pussy. All this shit. Oh, that's like, disgusting. Yo. No, of course. Why are you going to eat a strip club? Why are you going to eat a fucking sex worker's pussy, nigga? Like, of all like, the things God. you could do to this bitch, that's what you want? He sounded like Mr. Why? Burns. This dude was <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, this dog. dude was gone. Doc, he was a dog. And then I started hearing it. You know what? I was like, oh. Oh shit, it's going down in this room. Oh shit. And I'm just like, you know, I hear it, nigga. But I keep on trying to like, cause he's like, don't wake up my friend. Like he's on some shit. Right? And I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. He's worried so, about yeah, you. Yeah, he's like, yeah, don't wait. And chill, 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 don't wake up. And then she's on some like, yo, you don't want him to get involved. I'm like, no. Right? Like she's on some shit. Like, let's get him in. And then I'm like, fuck. But then when I seen her, she wasn't fine at all. This is what I hate about Vegas. Damn. That's what I'm saying. It's cause the card they give you be like some like professional yeah. model. He and said then whoever it. you call, it'd be like, he Said it. That's what it was. Bro. Fake oh advertisement. She yeah. didn't look like that. She didn't look like the card at all. Yeah. She did not. And then but that's it's right. It's already th too late. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, they the put some the room full of options. Like the drive through at McDonald's and shit. <laughs> that big ass burger. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Dog, like, that's exactly what it is. Eternal <laughs> sheet. It's like the burger and you get it and it ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch did not look like the card, bro. She, she, she Michael Douglas, that fool. Bro. And she looked like the. <laughs> nigga, the crazy thing is she didn't look. First of all, she wasn't. Dog, we could have fucked the bitch for free that looked like that. That's Damn. all I'm saying. It's like Wolf of Wall Street when he's like, these are the $100 strippers. These are the $200 pots. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to get a, a, a fucking uh, an antibiotic shot after them. Like, yeah, yeah. That's the $500. they will let you fuck without a rubber. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. So I was like, man, why the fuck is he doing? Because I could hear him and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga's getting it in doing this thing and I'm just like fuck dude why is he doing this <laughs> I'm like but I don't want to get up and fuck it up because he's in the mode like I can hear it nigga what was the sound again bro <laughs> and I'm just like oh shit this nigga's eating and I hear her moaning and shit 
And I'm just like, oh shit, you know how fucked up that is? To be there, like, yo. You felt, you felt like a little kid? Nah. Shit, like, 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 doing I didn't feel like Santa Claus. And I was hoping, I was in my head, like, please do it fast, nigga. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh. like, <laughs> ain't gonna happen to be fucked up, bro. I mean, he's he's not not he barely started at the foreplay. He had barely started. Oh, shit, do it fast. Yeah, this nigga's oh, going for the whole. Oh, this nigga's going to no, go for the entree, the dessert, the yeah, yeah, goddamn yeah. niggas. Can you just fucking <laughs> nut and get it over with? You barely got the truffle fries. Like, no. <laughs> Yo, I sat through. Oh, nigga, I laid man. through the whole fucking session, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's horrible, man. It was <laughs> fucked up. And then the next day, I told that nigga, I said, man, you know I was awake. When you was with that bitch, <laughs> and then that nigga's like, for real, nigga, I didn't know. I was like, he didn't know. <laughs> the bitch sat on the bed, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You know you feel it. <laughs> you know you feel that leg like, get lowered. Did I felt try, that did shit. Did he try to deny it or he played Hell it? Hell nah. How's he gonna deny? I saw that bitch. <laughs> I saw her ass. I saw oh, him. You know, I saw her fucking. I heard her saying to get me involved. And then I was like, I'm so grateful you can get me involved because I saw the way she looked. Dude. And I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> but if she was harder, I would have woke up on my own. Like, what y'all niggas doing? Dick in hand. What y'all, niggas, what y'all got going on? Like, scratching my stomach and shit. What y'all niggas got going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, right? I didn't know you was coming back, bro. Like, you know, I would have, yo, would have been different. The level of hotness would have been level, would have been what I would have did. I wouldn't have hit under the covers for a fine, fine bitch. I'm just keeping real with you. I'm getting involved. Even if I'm holding them legs. Yeah. I'm getting involved, though. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Just squeezing that while he fucks. Like, you killing it, my nigga. Like, whatever. But I, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. The level of it was... So that's just supposed to take... Like, give me your phone. Give me your phone. You gonna bring him a bottle, you gonna bring him a bottle of water because he's getting thirsty yeah. and shit? Just hey, throw it on that nigga's face like... You right, you right. But but that just goes to show you the level of how like good looking she was. I didn't oh, even want to. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I hate Vegas. Oh, you what you pay for? I feel like. Long story short, I hate Vegas because they lie. <laughs> they she lie. Don't let it ruin Vegas for you. Yeah, no, but it did. Nah, it, did. <laughs> it did. It did. It did. It did. It did. And that's when I went with a bunch of niggas. Oh, you know what damn. I'm saying? Usually I go with my wife, but this yeah. time I went with niggas. Yeah. Feel me? So you know what I'm saying? Like fuck, dude. So my wife's gonna hear the story for the first time too, then. <laughs> You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, she knows. If she hears the story, she's gonna know. She's gonna go down the list. Okay, how many times did he go? Who did he go with? She's gonna start uh, like arranging them. Okay, got a whole web. Of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, like, like, a fantasy <laughs> draft. A fantasy draft board. <laughs> He said she was black. <laughs> this nigga likes black girls. It's like that meme I said to my girl the other day. It's like that big old board, like a uh, big old equation, and like me trying to figure out what the fuck my girl pissed off about the uh, <laughs> like, like, Send me a fucked up face and shit. Like, you be waking up with shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 with the white dry erase boy. I had to dry erase all my whole album <laughs> ideas and try, try to figure out why the fuck. Hmm, what I do yesterday? I like that girl's picture that guess I might, that might be it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you think that that's a thing that a girl should get mad about? You liking a picture? No, I don't no. think so. I don't think so either. She's hot. What I the don't fuck? Think so. Oh no! If you're liking it for that reason, then oh god, <laughs> thank, you. thank oh, you. There's bro. other reasons. <laughs> yeah, like you might just she might that post was... post like I just graduated. Uh, but I don't know. Oh, but she's half like, naked. I mean. Oh, this was episode like see, three or four that we talked about this, I think. I think we, we talked about that, about how a <laughs> bitch will be half naked. It's like some sex seduction picture, but then be like some old deep shit. So like, what? what the fuck does that have to do with that? I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate that shit. It's it's some like deep old thinking well, you know what shit. They're trying to do right. They're trying to make take off the attention that they're fucking uh, setting up thirst trap. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to draw the attention away yeah. from the fact that they're doing. God that will shit. always remove people from your life. It's like, they're not right. <laughs> you need to you need to pay close attention to the doors that close. Yeah, yeah. 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 Half naked. Get the yeah. fuck out of here, bitch! Every correlate. door's open now. That shit does not correlate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that's that's just them trying to draw. Attention and so if feel, you like that, feel picture. better about the fact. I wouldn't. I wouldn't read that shit first and foremost. My girl knows I ain't gonna read that I shit. I never read. But if you like that shit, I never, <laughs> I never yeah, read. I've never. If it's too long, I'm like, I don't care. 
<laughs> I don't right? even or read. It says I keep reading. You're like, ah, eh, no. I just, never read. <laughs> yeah, especially all the girls that are hot. That I'm sometimes I'll be reading and I just spite. Like, I don't like this shit because I know you're trying to get me to like this shit. I know what you're trying yeah. to do. So it's like, fuck you. Poops, keep on scrolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm like doing that shit because it's thirst trap. And I'm falling for that shit because it's really a trap because when I get home, be slapped. So you like a chick's you like a chick's thing if it's like some like real shit. Yeah, if she's saying like, oh, I just graduated, took a picture with her fucking tassel or whatever. She might be looking good, but that was not on purpose. I just just like the fact that But if she's just chilling in a bikini, like, oh, yeah, uh, fucking in Mexico. Or yeah, the penny, well. like, oh, just got off vacation, blah, blah. You yeah, I'll probably, yeah. But now she's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fuck? You took all the attention. I'm trying to, like, no. <laughs> oh, hey, you're happy for her that you went to Mexico? I'm happy for her that you went to Mexico. So, not good, but she's not hot, though. Yeah. So how do you explain it to your girl? No, uh, she went to chill. She went to Mexico. Oh, she's in Mexico. <laughs> Why are you mad? Know? She's in Mexico. You want to go to Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do I you don't think? Explain it to I'm her. not scared, buddy. Eternal, what do you think? You shouldn't, your, a girl shouldn't get mad it's if you like a bitch right now. No. between love and hate. <laughs> what do you think, though? Like, is there like, do you uh, do you ever feel, you ever catch yourself having to explain, though? Yeah. You do? It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get stabbed. Nah, I used now. to. <laughs> not anymore. I used to. Yeah. She kind of know my thinking now. What do you now, think, so. Grace? What's the question? Do you like, <laughs> do, do you think it's like, if you like the girl's picture, do you think that's like something a girl should get mad about? Mm, nah, I shouldn't. I don't think no? so. No? But so, you wouldn't like a picture of like some crazy, like if she's like on some like dog, literally like you know it's a thirst trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah you wouldn't like you showing can, you can, you naked ass them. in the great state like, of Texas. Uh, then. That's <laughs> they're they're That's saying different. like a deep thought, like you saying, and they're bending over in the gym. Come There's on, there's a lot man. of context that comes yeah, involved with it. Because like, what I'm saying. if she's like a fucking uh, uh, what is it like a uh, OnlyFans chick or some shit like that, like yeah. and that then there's context there. But if she's like my homegirl from college or my you know cousin's friend, like it's just uh, there's always context in there. She could be hot, but she's really your friend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like. What it type of quote do you put under a half naked picture? I think it's intention. It's always intention. Rap lyrics. Just context. Rap lyrics. <laughs> 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 what if it's my lyrics and she's hot? And I what? I can't like it? They're yeah, my right. lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, double tap fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the nigga's right. I'm <laughs> watching the fans. Reposting all my that's, a, that's the gray area, yeah. yeah that's that's a different. Yeah. That's, a, that's a silver lining, like yeah, that's <laughs> that's true. Well, well, Nothing yeah. better than a hot chick supporting your music. Yeah, for sure. It's great. That's the best. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what I used to like making music for. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was our that was our Grammy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you see that fine bitch that liked our shit? Like that was the Grammy for me, right? <laughs> this nigga's like, don't ask me questions. <laughs> Change the subject, bro. <laughs> he wishes chair could turn right now because he goes like that. <laughs> Can we take a break? Can we take a break? <laughs> Uh, After these messages, <laughs> nah, man. Well, let's we'll, we'll leave that. But okay, so now we know. So we know the we know the difference between tricking and uh, not tricking. Uh, basically, clever doesn't trick. Everyone else in here does. Let's go. On. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't ever. I don't, I never really have to find myself. Never had to. Nah, I don't think so. Wow. If I got a trick, I'm like, You've fuck you. Blessed. I'm broke. I don't got no money to give You've you. You give me some money, shit. Yeah, you yeah. 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 Good life. I'm trying to uh, pimp them out. I'm trying to get some bread off of them. Send some $100 to my cash app. I will go over there, but I'm not going to gas. So I can't. Yeah, man, that works for you? Yeah, for That's sure. how you know you're a good looking nigga. <laughs> if a girl lets you go over there and she pays for the gas because no, you ain't sure. got it, you're a good looking nigga, bro. Tight. That don't happen to it's us. Back in my day, I don't do that no more. Yeah, we just gonna have to wait till next week. <laughs> Me, I gotta wait till next week. <laughs> hey, man, fuck, girl, I'll see you next week. Like, oh, well, she has the next dude under. Yeah, wow, fucked fuck up. Oh, see that? Oh, ugly yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, fucked man. up. That's an ugly chick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, dumb. I hate when a bitch flirts with you hardcore, nigga, and y'all like y'all, you know, you you feel like y'all got a thing going. Like she's fucking with you, right? And then like and then like 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 even though like you know what I'm saying, you know when you know there's a thing going, y'all going hard, she's talking that shit, you know, it's going back and forth. You feel it, you feel the vibe. But then like a week later you see her with like post uh, some shit with a dude and you're like, bitch, you like literally been flirting with me for like a month now. She was flirting with that dude for two months, so <laughs> yeah. she, was just, she was just in the middle of it and she's like, I don't know where to go yet. I don't know where to go yeah. yet. And then he went and But then it's checking. like, dog, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> he started he started no. <laughs> but then when you're like, and then you're the respectful nigga, you hit her and you're like, Oh my bad, I didn't even know you had a man. I wouldn't even Oh no, it's cool. You're, 
So she just leaves the door open still. <laughs> like, you fucking bitch. She <laughs> don't know if he's serious yet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta she don't know if he's serious yet, so she's like, I'm not fucking... You gotta have a King Ranch, bro. That's yeah. why... Yeah. <laughs> hey, you see that? El Guapo don't go through problems like this. I got problems like that for sure. Man. I'm talking about... Fuck you then. I'm gonna have yeah. shit. See? Write a song about it. Only us. <laughs> only us. Shut the fuck up, man. Only that's what I don't like, bro. I don't like, I don't like good-looking women. Like, they have too much power. Yeah, I think you know they got more power. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I don't like their fucking posts. I'll try to take the power away from them. Yeah, man. That's why. Fuck <laughs> hey, hey, you. I'm going to post the power. Hey, you know what you're doing? Hey, try to overweight take women is the way to go, my G. What's up? Overweight women is the way to go, my G. Nah, I don't know about They're going to always get <laughs> oh, yeah. You see? You see? Well, no. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to. You don't ever have to think that way. Cause you're a guapo. We have to think that way. <laughs> Fuck it. She, yeah, she got a few pounds and it's straight. Cool, cool. <laughs> like that's the way. When you get to our level, that's what, what you go through. Take her ass and go work out. You know, come on, let's go. <laughs> go run, girl. I'll be behind her in the fucking golf cart. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy. You, know what you see? <laughs> or you know what? That'll work for hey. But that'll work if you're a guapo. That's true. It don't work That's for true. a nigga like you. I can't tell a bitch let's go work out. She's gonna look at me like I'm fucking insane. <laughs> you gotta work out with her. That's why you gotta like slide it in there a little you gotta bit. Lie. You gotta build up trust and be like, man, you know what? I was thinking about go working out. You wanna go? <laughs> hey, you know what? Luckily, you should call, you should call I got an extra membership in my gym. For luckily, the guest pass, yeah. buddy pass. I got lucky though. My my wife she works out with me, so I'm yeah. I got lucky. I got a girl that knows that I'm a, a shallow ass nigga. Yeah, for sure. Feel me? So thank God for that. You know, you know no, what I mean? I don't think it's shallow. I think it's just got expectations. Hey, Girls you know what? Want you to have a job. What? Why can't you have a fucking flat stomach? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, three pointer. You got to bring that shit back like once. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, right, it's like, but it's uh, true. You know what? Whenever you get with a girl, right? Let's say you get married. In the vows, it says something like, okay, like you are giving me the best version of you. Yeah. Is the best version of you overweight, bitch? Yeah. That's not the best version of you. Well, I feel like in a relationship, you should want to do that shit. Like, that I, isn't I, the I best version to... of you, you <laughs> fat hoe. You should want to be attractive for your significant other. The best way. Like, Level you should take care of yourself. The same thing like brush your teeth or do whatever fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, bro, you gotta do that now shit. Now I know why you got all these nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he said it like, it's so nice. Uh, yeah, it's natural. It's yeah, natural. Yeah, you're like, yeah, he's right. He's right. <laughs> if, if he's rapping to a girl telling her everything he's saying right now, she's gonna be like, man, he's right. Maybe I should right, run one. Right, right. <laughs> I should run. Bro. Maybe I should, I should start run. running. Clev was right. Yeah, I should start running. Should yeah, run. I want to be start... my best version for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blaze, but imagine us saying it. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we like, we get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> we get stabbed. Eternal get stabbed, nigga. We're going to be sleeping on the roof. <laughs> They're gonna do them like, uh, no, it's not blood and blood out, it's American meat. Open your eyes, that's it. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> God damn, bro. Man, being shallow and ugly don't go together. Uh, sure. <laughs> you can only be shallow if you're a guapo, nigga. <laughs> you're talking about rephrasing it. <laughs> I'm not shallow, I have expectations. You're right, it's the delivery. Yeah, it's all about re- repackaging this shit. <laughs> okay, you gotta tell us. What? Right? Let's say, let's just. You're in this. You don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Right. You don't have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You got a girl. Mm-hmm. You see potential in her. Yeah. She got a little. She a little husky, but you see potential. Yeah. She could be bad if she just dropped. You already see it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How do you tell us? Walk us through. All the listeners need this. <laughs> yeah, Walk yeah. us through. How do you tell them What's without the hurting code? their feelings? The same way I just explained to her. No, right but now. tell us like you're having a conversation. Okay. I'd be like, uh, there you go. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Man, make a name. Yeah, depend how long. Janine. Janine. <laughs> Tell us well, how do you Somebody say no other girl's name on here I'm really gonna get beat up When I get <laughs> No I made the name up I know But I'm about to say it Fuck <laughs> <laughs> your Janine nigga. I, 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 And your girl's gonna look at All the Janines <laughs> There's about 10 Janines I gotta like, narrow uh, this down So what would you say How do you say this hey, So cause there's men like us That are, our, our women Have let themselves go How do we tell them Alright here we go Dr. Phil We need this right now Alright uh It's gonna be Let's see Hey uh Man you know what I'm thinking about you know, starting to work out next week, uh, going, you know, you should, you want to go too? You want to go with me? I got an extra membership in my gym and that's it. That's all you got to tell her. She's going to either be down or not down. If she's not down, I'll break up with her then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, nah, I don't want to do that shit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and then he starts ghosting her. Yeah. Right. yeah. What do you right. think, Brace? He's right? He's right. 
It's brutal, but it's honest. It's not about approach. Hey. I mean, I'm not trying to be brutal to her. I'm just, I'm trying to, the way you can convince her is tell her and make it seem like it's the best, for her best intention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's You're right. I package it that way. You're right. And you're no, getting yeah. something out of it, not me, but I really am getting something out of it too. You gotta, like, especially right now, you have the best thing that you can make you look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you ever catch corona, you know what I'm saying? You're going to need to be healthy. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? Yeah. We need to strengthen <laughs> our immune system. I don't want you to die if you get corona. I want you, know you to what? survive corona. stop eating for three weeks. You know, you know, like, uh, <laughs> yo, hey, that nigga right. That's right. <laughs> See, man, luckily my wife knows I'm a piece of shit. So she's like, I need to, I need to do whatever it takes for this piece of shit to be happy. Yeah. And I, that's why we work. Yeah, as long as she loves you and that's she really do the put in the work. She knows I ain't shit. What works works, dude. But I think there's yeah. also value in that. Like you got the fact that you stayed there and you invested in that person. They should think about it that way. Yeah. But if they're insecure, they're not gonna take it that way. They're gonna be like, "What you calling me?" Blah, 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 blah. This nigga smarter than his yeah. 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 Right? yeah. Investment is a big thing. Yeah. Sometimes like if you're it gets to do overlooked. It, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you're willing to put that work in, then you deserve to have that girl looking like that. Cause you know what. That's why it's like the Kanye line. He's like, I, I pay for those titties. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, kind of like that. <laughs> I pay for that body. Not necessarily monetarily, but like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to her ass to go work out. I'm glad that was my said- gym membership. <laughs> fucking asshole. I'm glad you, said-, over there I'm glad you said this. I'm glad you said what you just said. If your girl, if your girl was like clever, man, I've been thinking about like, I want to fucking invest in, I want to go in and, and get a fucking surgery done. Would you be like, man, I ain't giving her a fuck. I'm not going to help her get a surgery because what if she leaves me? Would you think that way or how would you think about this? Uh, I don't know. Because every time my girl's like... Depends. Ah. Are we married? Not married? No, we're not married? I mean, you're in a serious relationship. Yeah, but we're not married. So, you know, she can still bounce. So, I don't know. But think twice about it. And I would try to do alternatives, I don't know, before that. Because my own wife, when <laughs> like, she comes at me out. with shit, I'm like, hell no. Because anyway, if you leave me, what the fuck? I paid for that? Fuck no. <laughs> you know and that's my <laughs> wife. The next, the next cat will get the surgery. Am I the only nigga that has a relationship that a woman even comes at him and stuff like that? No. No. Yeah, right? It's I'm normal, right? Yeah, all girls do. My wife has told me. Yeah. So, so it's not like I'm trying like, to... I want to get lip injections and like... like so, See? Like, so it's not like, just me. Is, yeah. I'm like, why? Why? You know that shit looks like your lips all purple and hard and shit? <laughs> and they're all big and crazy. I talk her out of it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I, I love her the way she is, you know? And I feel like we, we can't do that shit as men. What the fuck? Like, we can't be going to do that That's shit. That's like a gateway to psychological issues, bro. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, too. So I try you to start, talk her out yeah. of it. Yeah. I always tell my girls, like... Like, I think once it starts, it's not, it's not really gonna stop. Yeah. It's just gonna be like, yeah. I, I can do this, make it feel better, make it feel it'll better. But it never be really enough, gonna make it bro. feel better. Yeah, yeah, it'll never be. I always enough. tell my girl, like, if you want, like. But I'm not against girls getting bigger chichis. No, me neither. Right and if you're the nigga, the kind of nigga, <laughs> and if you're the kind of nigga that has that kind of paper and you do it for your girl, cool, that's cool, that's your money. Yeah, it's not that but these I days. always tell my girl, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I've been I'm looking it up. I just heard, I heard. Put an ass on a payment plan. But man, I always tell my girls, like, you know what I'm saying? If you if you feel a certain way about yourself or you feel, get to it naturally. Like, yeah. get in the gym, keep on, work on them squats. Do If that's what you want, if, you, yeah. if you're a girl that wants a bigger ass, yeah. do a bunch of yeah, work. Sure. Get you to it get the to right it. way. That's the only thing. I mean, you could get to most things by doing it a natural way. It's just a long game, like I said. It's like yeah. that. It's but like, everybody wants it. They want that quick shit. But yeah. the, the thing that about that comes with the quick shit is you don't get the mental capacity to deal with it exactly. when you're doing it quickly. Because you go, like, if somebody give somebody a bunch of money, that's why all these lottery players oh, go broke. Because they don't know how to handle it. If you yeah. work your way up there, man. then you have all the skill set to yeah. be rich. Yo. But if you just get there, you don't have the skill set to be rich, so you yeah. go broke. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with careers and shit like that. If you just go up, you don't know what to do with it, so you lose it. But if you work your way up there, you can maintain it. The same yeah. thing with yeah, your body. That's it. Like, you're, that's so you're, true. You're, 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 that's yeah. so true. You're, 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 you blew up off your first hit. Lessons. Yeah. You're skipping all the lessons that you were supposed to be learning. That's yep. God's way, you know what I'm saying? To learn yeah. these lessons and go through. So that way, when you're there, you have all the mental capacity to deal with all this shit. Yeah. But if you don't, you skip everything. It's a blessing and a curse. Man. It's fucked up. Some people don't have it. Because I, I super think about that shit myself. I'm like, man, I, well, I used to tell myself, when I'm 15, I'm going to be on. I'm going to be signed. Like, I felt like I had, like, by the time I, I was giving myself this goal, but, like, I didn't have the fucking mental capacity to deal with that shit. I was retarded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't yeah. have dealt with it. I would have lost it all. So, yeah. I think we're, you're ready when you're ready. Man. Yeah. But you got to hey. get there. And nigga's so. smart for it. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> That's yeah. why he's clever. Yeah. <laughs> right? I agree. Should I okay, be sitting here thinking about makes sense. And shit. I'm on the shit. On the shitter, like, man, for real. <laughs> but yeah, dog, I, w- I wouldn't. I, I just, you know. But I'm not against anybody doing it. If you, if you, if a girl does it, that's cool. I mean, I don't think anything. Yeah, yeah I'm it. not against it. I think yeah. everybody's on their own journey to figure yeah. it out. I just, but I, I mean, I'm with just, you. I don't. I always I think that there's a, with, something to be learned in the. <clears throat> With process. my woman, I think about, like you said, the psychological. I'm like, man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you don't love yourself now, you're not going to love yourself. I'm like, you don't need that shit. Yeah. I mean, because for me, 
Right? It's for me. Well, yeah, you don't need that shit, because I don't need that shit. But is it, right? It's not for you anymore when there's something like that. Nah, it ain't. Not for, yeah, it's for everybody yeah, else. Yeah, it's for everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not like she's going to exclusively just show you. Yeah, oh, I'm going to get, I'm gonna get a, a big old, I'm going to get all this shit done so I can look like Kim Kardashian, but I'm going to be at home all day. Yeah, right, bitch. You're going to be <laughs> everywhere. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So you're not doing it for, but the thing is, girls don't do it for men anymore. They do it to battle each other. Yeah, yeah, that's They right. don't want your attention. They want another woman's attention. If you're doing anything for anybody else but yourself, then it's fucked up. You're already fucked up from the beginning. Damn. You're already yeah. making decisions that are fucked up. Yeah. If Damn, you're doing anything man. besides for yourself. Yep. And that again, bro, that's why <laughs> that's why fat chicks are the shit. Yeah. Feel me? Let's go on. So, since you're clever, we want to figure out how clever is clever. <laughs> or clever, how clever is clever, right? Uh-huh. We're gonna figure this out, right? right? Because you have a fucking degree from UT, right? <laughs> yeah, but they, it ain't nothing important. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Nah, <laughs> hey, hey. It don't mean shit. You went to college fuck for four years. Grim, dude. You know what I'm talking about? So I you're spent, smart. I spent seven years there like Van Wilder. It took me a long, long time to graduate. Seven <laughs> years? Nah, it was like six. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time, nigga. Uh, no. I was, oh, actually, on the way over here, I was thinking about it because I was like, I was gonna tell you about it because I remember coming down this road because I used to work at the Walmart distribution. Oh, and shit. I, I spent five down the next exit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I used to work there. I worked there for about a year. Because when I, I got, I spent five years at oh, the wow. university. Then my last year, I was, I had about six classes left. Yeah. So they, they'll let you walk, like they'll let you graduate with with having like, uh, like six or less hours. So I was taking those online from home, but I had to pay for my tuition. So I was working at the Walmart distribution because my homeboy works there. He still works there. So uh, and a bunch of my homies do. They pay good over their shit. Nah, but yeah, I was bro, working the there. Huge. But that shit was a pain in the fucking ass. I used to be over here at three o'clock in the morning, three thirty, grinding out to go just to Damn. finish my classes and shit. But man, I know. That- I remember these road, this road right here coming all pissed off and having sleeves and fucking back. I'm like, Damn. fuck, I hate the job. Man, this shit's hey. a hard ass work, bro. Dog, I feel that. When I was in college, I was fucking working overnight at the fucking Walmart because I would finish class at like yeah. nine or ten and go straight to work. And then work throughout the night and then go home like at 7 a.m. Nigga, I can't tell you how many times I almost fell asleep driving home, nigga. That shit was hard. It's bro. hard, it's nigga. Gene Campbell, bro, it's yeah. like dark as fuck. Yeah, it's fucking bro. hard. When the night time, yeah, I, would back, see, I would get there and it's like you working from the clock starts to the clock end. I'm like, yeah, fucking bro. hate this shit. I need to finish my degree. Up. Man. <laughs> so we need to ask you some questions. All right, Ready? Yeah. Okay. What? Okay, you you understand the fucking, uh, the, the, uh, the periodic table, right? Of elements? Um, I understand what it is. Okay. I don't understand. I don't even know what's on it no more. <laughs> no, but you're smarter than everybody here, so you know. <laughs> no, there's elements on there and it's colorful and they separate by Okay, like, but what letters okay, what are the letters bro. for vibranium? The fuck no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's nah. the atomic number for it? I don't know. I have no idea. Do you know what vibranium is used for? Nope. You sure? Let me see. Let me think about Kill it. Kill Superman. Vibranium. <laughs> <laughs> is that some made up shit? Or it's really on there? No, I'm saying the vibranium. What do you vibranium. know what it's used for? It's not like a made up ass word, but right. it's not like a made up element. Vibra- and like V3 or something? <laughs> it's like vibration. What do you think? What do you think That's vibranium vibrate, is? Vibrate. Does it use for powerful, man? <laughs> what do you think it is, Brace? Vibranium? Vibranium. 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 I have no yeah. idea. Sound <laughs> like it's spelling B. B I B. Yeah, I'm going to be able to spell that shit. All right. I'm going to tell you what it is. I can, rhyme, I can rhyme it with another word vibranium, my cranium. So. Oh, 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 oh. That's why he's clever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay. Okay. It's the shit that they were fighting over on fucking Black Panther. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is that the chemical? What's on state? Made up shit? I just asked you. It's made up. Only produced in Wakanda. Yeah, but I wanted you to think it was real. I wanted to see how clever clever is, man. It's like vibranium. What the fuck? Let's move on to another one. He technically got it right. Yeah. He knew it was fake. It was made up shit. His heart told him that's not real. That's true. That's fucked up, right? Like, how do you go on somebody's show and tell them they made some shit up? All right, so check it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Here goes. Here goes another. Ready? Yeah. What two things can never? What two things can you never eat for dinner? The fork and the plates. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you? you see? <laughs> hey, that, that's why that nigga clever. Right? Yeah, like, what's sitting in front of me that I can't eat? This cup right here? Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think it is, Bra- Blaze? Fuck, I don't know, man. What do you think it is? After dinner. dinner. Pussy. Oh, you can eat After pussy. dinner? Yeah. You can't digest. You can't digest. <laughs> well, when do you usually eat some pussy? I'm still going to be hungry. But after dinner? <laughs> when do you usually eat pussy, nigga? 
What time do you eat pussy? You better not be in the morning with that shit. Hey, you better not eat pussy in the morning, nigga. Crusty ass shit. Nah, nigga, fuck that shit. That's the best time. You turn it on. Hey, you turn it on. You let it marinate. You let it marinate. She takes a shower in the night. You let it marinate. The morning is ready. Hey. Then you do it before you brush your teeth so you won't be disrespectful. If you brush your teeth, then they're going to be like, what the fuck you brush your teeth for? I'm like, what? Because I got a fucking hair. Curly ass one, too. Come on. It's like when you eat popcorn and shit. So I can't like, say shit. I don't even eat pussy, so I'm not dissing this nigga for it. <laughs> yeah, whatever the fuck you want, guys. Yeah, yeah. Eat whatever time you want. All right, so uh, the, the, the two things you can never eat for dinner are breakfast and lunch. All right, let's move uh-huh. on to the next one. <laughs> what never asks... <laughs> All right. What never asks questions but gets answered every time? Never ask questions. Your phone? Ooh. But it don't get answered every time. Hey, <laughs> that nigga's right. Is it? It's a cell phone. <laughs> yeah, the camera's clever. That was quick. Yeah. Hey, you did it quick. You smart yeah. as fuck, nigga. All right, let's go. Uh, what goes up and never comes down? Shit. Uh, I don't know. Blaze? <laughs> 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 yeah, my mind was in the gutter. What goes down? I'm trying to think what don't come down. I don't know. Blaze? Got me. I don't it know, goes dude. goes up and doesn't come down. You want a chance here, Clever, or you want uh, to tell you? Nah, go ahead. What is it? Your age. All right. Oh, oh shit. shit. What starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? Mm-mm. Oh, it has one letter in it? Yeah. Damn, that's what I was thinking. There's one letter in the middle of it. Oh, one letter, but one letter with the I, with the E's, or? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> one other okay, okay, okay. What, what starts with an E and ends with an E, but only has one letter in it? One letter in it. I starts e? with an I? E. e. Starts, starts with E, starts ends, with starts e. Starts e. With e. ends with an E. Starts with an E, ends with an E, and has one letter in it. I thought it was I. But it has one letter in the whole word or one letter aside from the two E's that we're already discussing? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, nigga. You went to UT, man. <laughs> what that mean? I, no riddles? I didn't go to... You know, <laughs> I learned riddles. I majored in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> went to riddle school. The riddle. <laughs> the riddle was on there. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Today, <laughs> we're going to do... Okay, imagine that nigga. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now that we got past the syllabus, what? Uh, it starts with E, ends with E, one letter in it. Go. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds. Whoever we'll gets to write gets a diploma today. <laughs> <laughs> Skip this whole course. You have to come back this semester. Eternal, what do you think? I don't fuck Starts with E, ends with E, one letter in it. An uh, envelope. All right. It's kind of, it makes you think, though. You could put yeah. some other letters in that shit. You could put two letters in an envelope. <laughs> you you're right. That's why you're clever. <laughs> All right, so um, what two keys can't open any door? Uh, probably... Whatever E and F what is on the keyboard of the fucking piano, whatever the fuck. <laughs> what two keys can? You're open smarter them? than us. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I think you're like. See, you know what? If, you're, if it's like we a uh, drug key, that opens every door. You know? <laughs> <laughs> every door opens. You got a regular key opens some doors, but the only thing is like probably a fucking keyboard. That's what I'm saying. Like we just think this look, far. I think yeah, yeah. Like you're like you're like you came here thinking you're around smart people. <laughs> You know, I had a, you know, my nickname was was criminal. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. there's nothing the smart truth. about us. <laughs> Eternal. I think back about some of the shit that last time. We're like, why do we associate ourselves with all these like crime shit before? Why was that the thing to do? You know where I got clever from was from Chopaholics and shit. Because I was looking at everybody's name and it was like Mellow, Risky, Lucky. And I was, like, trying to find a name that was in the same category as that. That's where I got clever from. But you're uh, saying, why does everybody have to have, like, criminal names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why that? Like, what do you think it should be? Thug, yo, thug. I'm private investigator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking detective. Uh, fucking the inspector yeah. gadget. Young detective. <laughs> young detective. <laughs> young <laughs> lawyer. Scientist. Young man. See, you know, well, somebody's a scientist, right? Yeah. Who? Who is it? Uh, and then you have alchemist. Alchemist. Logic. Alchemist. Logic. Logic. There is smart nigga names. Yeah. Well, who's the scientist? There was a scientist. Who, who was it? They called themselves that. 
scientist. The professor? Nah, but that was a basketball player and one yeah. that white dude. There wasn't a professor in rap. Wasn't yeah, professor? There was. There professor, was a professor. Large professor. professor. Large professor, right? Large professor. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's like, like back then, if you had those type of names, you were a backpack rapper, and nobody liked you. Oh yeah, like oh he's yeah. too he has a smart yeah, name. Yeah, he's too smart. Right? Name, oh, you got Dr. Yeah. Dre. <laughs> Dr. Dre. There you go. So what two keys can't open any door? Hmm. Whichever one's on a keyboard, I don't know what the it's like E F. I don't know how to how it works. Well, Two you're smarter keys. than the actual. <laughs> you're smarter than the actual answer. What is the answer? It's a mun key and a donkey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mike can open some fucking door. <laughs> no, that's true. Eh? No, a donkey can kick one open. No, a monkey can do whatever the fuck you want him to. If you teach him, probably eat your face after that. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Once he gets in the door, he's gonna eat your face off. So you probably shouldn't teach him how to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't teach him shit or he'll yeah, kill you. Monkeys eat your face. And <laughs> fucking monkeys shit. look crazy, bro. They're swole as fuck dude like there's this disease they can get where they they, they go bald and dude they look creepy bro no what yeah like they have they get muscles, ronya, like, nigga? yeah exactly oh like, like shit yeah. Yeah. Damn, i didn't know monkeys could and get ronya. Like pale bro and it's just they eat crazy i saw the other day somebody said uh uh somebody put, posted a post and it was saying something along the lines of like man i saw reebok in walmart the other day and it broke my heart and I started thinking about, I was like, uh, why? Well, Reebok's yeah, smart because they know it's going to get seen. Every There's yeah. Walmarts all over the fucking place. And Chappie so, used to be at Walmart before all these kids made it all hot and shit. Exactly. Like, this is, I was like, man, fuck. Yeah. I'll go. It's still, it was still at Walmart while people were paying $40 for it at Urban Outfitters. Yes. I'm like, bro, you know you can get the same shirt at Walmart, right, for $5. Right. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to say. Is like, why, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 why does, do you feel like it being in Walmart makes it lower of a product? It's people always are been fucking that way. like that. Yeah. People are like that. If you buy some tennis shoes, I've bought. I've bought. Uh, uh, Walmart is a step up for me because I be at the thrift store on fucking Jensen over there, Value Village. I be in that bitch waiting for the fifty percent off discount and now fill up a whole bag. It don't make shit, no sense you know though because the irony is Walmart sells Mac and shit. So exactly like why you can't buy? <laughs> yeah, also oh, Mac ain't shit. Dumb. Yeah, that's what but I'm saying. Like, but it, but in clothes wise, it ain't all shit. All your game systems, the consoles, yeah, all your electronics. I buy everything. tires at Walmart for my car. There you go. Hey. He, he, Bray's makes shirts. There's yeah, nothing. Sure. There's uh, Bray's. You know the value of a shirt. Yeah. The quality sure. of a shirt. Yeah. But also, it's not. It's the shirt. It's also what the label is on it. That's what I think. Like the yeah. whatever is on that shirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like he's saying, Mac doesn't lose decreased value because it's getting sold in Walmart. T-shirt. Why does clothes though? Mm-hmm. Why do shoes? Yeah. A t-shirt value starts at around two dollars and fifty cents. That's your base price at the best price wholesale. Now, when you put a logo on the front of the back. The price goes up. Yeah, you add a tag to the bottom or tag over here, you know, or tag on the sleeve, and the price goes up. Up and up and up. The, the number of uh, colors on your print makes the price go up. So you go you go from a two fifty base value. They sell shirts now. What for forty dollars, twenty five dollars, fifty dollars, fucking a hundred dollars if you yeah, buy like yeah. Balenciaga, Gucci shirts and shit. Yeah, that's why I think it's about it's a value of our own branding that we do. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like Crimson put on a shirt now it's worth twenty five dollars, even though it's five dollars. You know what I'm saying? H and four I put on a shirt now it's twenty five dollars because of this yeah. brand and what yeah. it represents. You know, just like a Texans or a Rocket shirt, the same shit. Yeah, but all those also those little things are tight that make it. That's what makes a dish when you go to yeah. a restaurant better because I put these little things on it and I put. A fucking lemon on your yeah. your michelada or whatever. The that, visual, the, yeah, the visual of it. Yeah, mm. marketing, marketing. It's just small man. things that yeah. you can drive up yeah. price higher. It's like when you got a track on in a studio and you're building it and you're putting track here, track there, track there, vocals on the shirt. You can do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tell us about the uh, Elon Musk thing with the Bitcoin, Blaze. Oh yeah, like Tell us for it. whatever reason he changed his bio to Bitcoin. And I don't know, Overnight. I don't know if he like when he liquidated his assets, if he just dumped it into Bitcoin and became a fucking. He's the richest man in the world. I don't know how he did it. I know he, uh, Jeff, I know Jeff. Yeah, he passed I, Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he passed up Amazon, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> but I don't know if Jeff Bezos got split in half because of his divorce. So that could have helped Elon in a lot of ways, but still, so I mean, there's a rich lady out there bro, somewhere. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the richest lady in the world now. Oh, yeah, she's yeah Steve Jobs' uh, ex-wife, the one he left the widow, was mm-hmm. one of the richest people in the world too. And you know why? Because because whenever Steve Jobs books are twelve hundred dollars and they ain't for shit. <laughs> hey, look, and it wasn't even, and it wasn't even from Apple. I'm gonna oh, tell you how. Shit. Check this out. Um, when Steve Jobs, when, you know the 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 the, the dudes that make uh, Toy Story and all that Pixar. Yeah. When they were first first starting out, they needed money to do it. So they went to F- Steve Jobs and said, can you loan us a loan to start up our Pixar company? And Steve Jobs said, 
I like what y'all are going to do. He goes, I don't want to loan y'all nothing. I want stock in it. Right. And then it was like, okay. So Elon, I mean, so uh, Steve Jobs owned such a big percentage of Pixar. So when he died, his wife was automatically a billionaire because of that money. Yeah. Jesus. Only, and that's just that money. It don't even count the Apple stuff. Yeah. Damn, so think bro. about how rich he is all because... Oh, yeah, that's balling. Balling. Because yeah. he... Because, you know, he saw he saw the future. Fuck, fuck giving y'all a loan and y'all pay me back and give me uh, 10% on top or some shit. When I, I'd i rather own it yeah, with no, y'all. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, they're, you know, them, they're like, shit, we're, we don't have to. It's my watch. It's oh. 12. So, it, that you know what I'm saying? He saw ahead. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck giving y'all a loan and you give me my money back. That ain't shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's sure. just giving me a percentage. On top of what I gave you, yeah. Fuck that. I rather own what y'all are doing, yeah, so, or own with y'all. Shit, some ownership in that shit because it's yeah, gonna man. play the long game. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like uh, fucking Bill Gates when he was going. He bought. He was with Microsoft, and whenever Apple would, before they got Steve Jobs back, he went and gave them a loan or like bought some stock in their company. And that's Microsoft. It's your literally your competitor. Yeah. But he's like, fuck it. Whichever one wins, I'm gonna fucking that's be true. in the both of them. <laughs> Bill, Ga- Bill Gates was the one who bought my Apple and brought him back to life after they were going out. That right before those colored computers came out, the ones we had in school, yeah, like, the clear ones. Yeah, those those yeah. badass ones when yeah. Steve Jobs came back. Fucking, they had Bill Gates on there. They were like, fuck, that's our arch nemesis. But now nah, he was the one who brought Apple back. <laughs> that's like going to the crabs and saying. Also, he didn't want Monopoly because he was like Shh, not trying to be the biggest thing so he needed a competitor yeah, so it yeah. was kind of smart on his part that's like going yeah. to play roulette and saying uh, let me put this on red and let me put this on black yeah for sure <laughs> like you're <laughs> just like give, what do we do we really spin or do we just give him his money yeah. like you're gonna hit yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the same shit right yeah. so basically he put it on his bio and it made it but it, but it made the percentage go up right yeah, no, Bitcoin. yeah. Bitcoin started, it, it's been 32 for the last week, and now it hit 36, 37, well, 38. It was, it was dragging. It was dragging for about almost two weeks. Yeah. And then when that happened, it just went up again. Well, see, okay, so uh, the total side note, this is that's another thing that they're scared of since so many corporations actually invested in Bitcoin this year. If they could manipulate Bitcoin the way stocks mm. have been happening, I think all of them could be manipulated in the sense that they can like, enough, as long right? as like, you can like, you know, have some, if you have some persuasion with people, you can get people to fucking buy or sell whatever. Yeah. That, there's always it's like I was watching this movie with Shia LaBeouf. I forget what it's called, but he was working in Wall Street and he was just like spreading out rumors so he would fuck up other people's hedge funds and stocks and Damn. shit. Yeah. On Wall Street, he was spreading out with all his rich friends and they was like moving and moving and shit. And he's like, you can't prove that I did it. So I was like, fuck it. Damn, because that's no crazy. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn. I did hear that. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. Going, people always going off tips, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's to say if they're true or not? You're just banking on that it is. Yeah. But nah, I don't know, man. For whatever reason, he's a he's a strong supporter of, of Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency Dogecoin. is just what's gonna be in the future. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. It's like people the most on e- even way of <clears throat> like having wealth spread. It's yeah. decentralized, <clears throat> no one can control yeah. it. So it's like and that's what the government does not want. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's your modern day <laughs> retirement plan. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Who needs a 401k with that shit? <laughs> so the uh, Braves told me about this. The NRA is moving to Texas, right? Yeah. They're in California, but they want to move to Texas. Everybody wants to come. Texas now. Move the heck. Last sheep. Come on. Yeah, yeah that's a big thing though. The NRA being in Texas, think about it. And not only just that, it's a uh, Republican state. You ain't gonna stop guns out here. How's it gonna affect the gun? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I mean, it's true. On. It's yeah. true. You know, Texas has always been its own. It can be its own thing away from everyone else. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you you can't come here and tell us. What if in the future everybody does start fucking segregating? Like the land is like oh country. We're all yeah. one little. Yeah. Country. I wouldn't be I see surprised. Happen. Yeah, <laughs> especially now that everything feels so like you know what I'm saying like especially with this last election you saw really how much divided people are. Yeah, you saw yeah. a lot of that in this last election, like how much, uh, dude. There's been I've lived through tons of elections, but this last one was like I man, agree. yeah, like yeah. it was very like really like people really chose sides on this. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't think there's anything that could work me up that much. And I just look at people sometimes. I'm like I'm tripping. You worry about the yeah. wrong thing because this is not a. Yeah. Like, you got rent to pay. You got other yeah. shit going on. Yeah. Like actual shit that affects me. Like I'm yeah. gonna be sitting here arguing with people. On and Facebook. whoever wins like, is not. Gonna, you still gotta get your ass and go to work tomorrow. True. Yeah, the president it's not like well the Trump won. Shit, but the we don't have to work. The government. He ain't shit. Yeah. Whoever the president is, you be worried about the Congress and the senators and shit like that. But I can kind of see lifetime terms and shit. That means you got some racist fucking prick that's still in his term since the beginning of fucking time. True. But I can but I can I can kind of see though how 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 uh uh you know what I'm saying? I don't know if like I don't I'm not for Trump as far as like the way the things he said and the things he was doing and saying. I don't like that. But 
as far as him being a Republican and being in power, I can see how it affects because I see how it's affecting the oil industry. Yeah, for sure. They so got energy moving over to what is it, like China or Asia or some shit. They're moving the the business over there. A lot of people are a lot of people are gonna be losing jobs. Mo- oil up. money's going down. It's gonna it's gonna affect a lot of families, especially here in Texas. Yeah, for and, sure. And and that's what I'm saying. Like that's our livelihood over I here. I can see why I can see why. Uh, wanting to keep a Republican in the House is so important for certain yeah. companies. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because the Democrats always is going to try to stop the oil. Yeah. It is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a double-edged sword. I said it the it other is. day, right? I'm just, I, I was, I'm not against either or. I think that there's somewhere to meet in the middle. I just think that like the, whoever the person was was just an asshole. I think in this election... It was, <laughs> I, think, a different Republican I think in this election, cool we, in this election, we had to come to the terms of uh, do we care about being rich or do we care about being disrespected? What yeah. matters more to us? Mm. Yeah. Because if there's a, if if Trump stayed in the house, the money stays going. Yeah. But we're we're divided. Yeah. It's a lot of a lot of a racial lot of tension. A lot of yeah. So it's like what matters more. You know what I mean? I it's like agree. we had to like kind of like come to like That's what, what morally free, what matters. Sign a deal. Like I don't think I never thought that the the term sign, sign a deal with the devil was true. But you still are at some point because if you're you know, signing for the wrong reasons or agreeing to something for the wrong reasons, then you're going to get that energy coming back to you. Mm-hmm. So that's what signing a deal with the devil is more yeah. so. Or yeah. selling your it's soul like is more so. It's not meaning, an actual term yeah. where like, you're not really selling your soul, but yeah. when you're faking like you're this person when you're not, you are selling your soul because your soul is not that. You're yep. being this other person just to, for monetary gain or whatever the fuck. So yep. yeah. it's an actual yep. term. It's like, you know, it's a real thing. It's positive and negative energies in this world. And mm. I'm with the positive side. I'm going to be over here on this light. You hey, know so, what I'm so do you fuck with the, with the secret shit? What is it? Do you believe in like the secret? Like as far as negative energy brings on more negative energy. All humans are made of energy. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like that. Yeah, I've yeah. been fucking. I'm on. I'm on that shit. I feel like we're all negative and positive. But what is an atom? A positive and a negative fucking yeah. charge, right? Yeah. We're all yeah. negative, and positive. We can be either or. Yeah. If we choose to. Yeah. yeah. We we choose we choose uh, uh we choose what we allow in our minds. We choose what we we choose what we allow in our bodies. We choose what we allow. You know what I'm saying? Like we choose what we what we do for yeah, ourselves. We want to feed ourselves. We're a vessel. Contain. We're our vessel, and we choose what we do with it. Mm-hmm. If you don't give a fuck, you want to be laying on the couch eating fucking Cheetos all day, getting fat. That you chose that. Yeah. If you want to get up, go run. You chose that. Yeah. You care that much about your. You only get one vessel in this life. How are you gonna treat it? I always say that to everybody. You know what I'm it's saying? It's your temple. Treat it yeah. how you want to treat it. <laughs> you feel me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I don't I think. But also too, there's balance. You can work out. I work out. Doesn't mean I don't eat bad sometimes. Yeah, for sure. People but you probably allow, think, allow for that. You know what I'm saying? When you go work out, you're like, right. I can afford to fucking eat whatever. Yeah. Fuck. Or I, or 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 I I'll think it's one or the other. You can either work out all the time or you know have a diet, but you can't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying not do both because people be don't fun. know that, that you can lose weight just being on a diet. You don't yeah. even have to work you don't out. Have to work yeah. out. If you don't just like eat to. right. But uh, I prefer to go work out and it, just it, eat whatever I want because I enjoy food. I enjoy eating. And I love everything. yeah. Like, no, me too. Food, whatever we can find a food. Yeah, Fuck because 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 you know how some people will eat one bad meal, man. I like to over the weekend. I like to eat however I want to eat. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying I go day. hard breakfast, lunch, dinner, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like uh, I, you know, I like to have a few beers, eat whatever I want to eat, and then Sunday, fuck, do it again. Fuck yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, but Monday through Friday, I'm I'm strict. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But some people they're they're That's so strict that drugs. they only get one bad meal. That's how I do with drugs. I'm like Monday through Friday, one I'm bad not doing meal. No drugs. Friday come doing drugs. Saturday, okay. Sunday, I'm doing no more drugs. Yes. I'm going Can't to church. cold turkey on. Yeah, drugs. Saturday night. <laughs> Saturday night I'm gonna go. To, Saturday night I'm gonna go street, yeah, sleep with a stripper. Dogs, Sunday morning I'm going to church. I gotta do. That's balance. It's balance. <laughs> Feel me? It's like life is balance. I'm you fucking a, a stripper. Balance. Whatever balance works for you. Yes. And I'm in church on Sunday morning. Sorry. Dear Lord, sorry for that shit I did last night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't shit, my nigga. You Long know that. You recognize it. It's yes. <laughs> yes. See, man, that's why you're clever. I'm with it. I'm, with it. I'm for it. <laughs> you know, I want to live, but Yo, you're the uh, only person to blame when the bad shit happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> live however yeah. the fuck you want to, but be ready to deal with those consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That dog, that stripper, you might run into her at Walmart. Yeah, you're at Walmart with your wife and kids, and then she's just like, "Hey, Krim," and you're just like, "Oh <laughs> shit!" Feel me? Like I should have thought about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That. I should have thought about that. You know what I'm saying? She put me on blast. My nigga ruined my life. Feel me? You now what? Fuck up my life. Now my wife is a stripper. <laughs> I'm at Walmart with my wife. Now I'm married to that stripper. <laughs> now I'm married to the stripper, and and fuck everybody knows it. And I had to tell y'all about it on the show because nah, you know man. everybody wants to know. <laughs> so, so it even goes even worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you can have a uh, reality show if you get your feet. If you end up marrying a stripper. If it happened to me that exact story, I'd tell everybody about it on here. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I wouldn't even lie about it. Why? <laughs> What's to lie about? I'm pretty sure there's millions of other people that have done that shit or worse. 
Yeah, way man, worse. Way worse. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what's to be ashamed of? We're all doing stupid ass shit. You know, everyone, I mean? everybody. It's That's like lying like, about watching we, porn. Everybody we, watches yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Why Chill. are we acting like you know? What I'm saying this shit don't happen to everybody. People. Yeah. That's why I say like, why people think they win all the time? Nobody wins all the fucking time. Yeah. People <laughs> spend more time losing. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Or why do people have to hide the like the? Why do people feel like you, like you're beneath? There, you're like, oh, you're so low. If like you watch porn or something. Everybody Why are you low point. for that? Porn is like the most, I bet, fucking porn. Most like viewed most thing. Yeah, that's the most hits on the internet. <laughs> yeah. so, who, so come on. You're telling me there's billions of views on a video on porn and nobody watches it. Get the fuck out of here. Porn is great. It's like a stress reliever sometimes. Yeah, you know? bro. When it keeps you... people from cheating. Yeah. All the time. Because you know what? <laughs> positive too, Once you bust bro. that nut, you're like, oh man, I was about to do some dumb shit. Yeah, Thank yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's Lisa. <laughs> hey, goddamn, Lisa, eh? Uh, <laughs> hey, look good looking out, Lisa. Uh, you know, you know the, pro- the uh, pornographers, people's names. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Piece, of <laughs> Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oh, you see? Like, look, hey, on. you just proved my point. Judging me. <laughs> Judging me because I know that bitch's name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you're above me because you don't know her name. I'm not judging you. I just think I thought it was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> There's no judging. It's impressive. But do you know any names of him? Uh, nah. Nah, I've top. Oh, uh, Jenna Jameson. Yeah. That Jenna was the first one I knew. Yeah, that bitch is from the 90s. I know. I was watching. She had the interaction. That's like with if one. you would have said Pamela. I, mean, I, I used to be at like, Stunner's, like, Stunner's, like, Stunner's apartment with the remote, like, <laughs> pressing <laughs> balls. You, know, you can interact. You can yeah, go inside yeah. her vagina, I think. Take a tour. <laughs> oh, shit. Take a tour. She was the first one. Those videos. She was the one. Huh? She was actually My brother used to have the DVDs yeah. and shit. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, so he was a collector. Yeah, he, he has. he's a DVD collector. Damn, Stunner Man. <laughs> Stunner Man. Hardhead. Jenna Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> that was his fame? Yeah, no, I don't know who he was. I don't know who he was. Like. I don't know. Stunner! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, before we end the show, please, yeah. for me. Yeah. Call Stun and ask him who his favorite porn star is. Oh, know. shit. No, please. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, you call him. Yeah. I'll do it because you're acting like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he ain't your brother, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, he won't get mad. He is my brother. I'm trying not to get him in trouble. Right? We got to know. We got to know. Because now that you told me he's a collector, I got to know. He's a collector of DVDs, not pornography. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Apocalypto on DVD Like that <laughs> fucking uh... Blaze don't you wanna know He got a problem And died What's your favorite Porn right, star man. He wants him to say A nah, porn star name Nah he's not in He's not in Come on Son is my, one of my Favorite people he, He's gonna tell us <laughs> he's gonna laugh like, ha, 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 stupid. <laughs> he's stupid. not even gonna pick up Stunner yeah, ain't right. asleep At 12 o'clock is he Oh what the hell is that Yeah check that right he knows these niggas are on the show. Yeah, Hell no, he knows. <laughs> not picking up the phone. He knows something uh, going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please leave your message. Leave a message. Who's your favorite porn star? Hey, but you know what? We're gonna assume it was Jenna Jameson because you found that movie. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> All right, Jenna Jameson. Stunner's favorite is Jenna Jameson. Okay. Anyways, man, we got way we already done with time, dog. We had so much fun with you that we tight, tight. time flew, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that this was the most unique. Uh, 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 interview you've ever done? Yeah, it was tight. I like it. I like interview. I like podcasts. We talk about off topics. That's you know what, what I like too, right? Like that's, that's so much music. Yeah, man. we don't like need to everything. get you on here so we can just suck your dick for an yeah, hour. Yeah, for sure. Like, come on, let's <laughs> talk about <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll last an hour. <laughs> say, three I'll minutes an hour, so it'll be, I think we'll be <laughs> three minutes top. <laughs> Fucking greedy. What do you think, Blake? Making big chichis and an hour. How do you think? Blaze, how long you last in a good good, good head job? Lying, man. What? <laughs> Three minutes? Sure. What do you think? What's a good uh, time? Nah, nah. Thirty minutes. <laughs> Thirty minutes. This nigga's a beast. Yo, nigga, what? <laughs> you gotta be able to hold it. Jenny Rivera. Thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty minutes. Damn. What do you think, Eternal? It's a, that mental, was a question. It's a mental game. What is a good time of a, like a, a nigga, like a, a good blowjob? How long is it? Oh, God damn. Yeah. Shit. I forgot what, what do you think? Like 15 minutes. I'm with him. 15 yeah. minutes sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. 30 minutes? That's a whole show. Sounds like a long time. <laughs> That's a whole show. 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 That's a whole show.
bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the stabbing part. I don't want to get stabbed. Yo, man. Anyway, let's 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 get out of here and just wrap this thing up. Uh, Braze, say your goodbyes so we get out of here, man. All right, man. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure you subscribe, tell your people, blow up the comments, and share. Yes. You turn on what you got. Hey, man. Uh, one thanks Clever for coming through. Yes, sir. Crim's Crib in this motherfucker doing big things. Y'all stay tuned. Blaze, what you got? Nothing, man. Oh, shit. Special shout out to your uh, friend that uh, uh, sent you that message, man. Can we say his name or we can't? Oh, yeah. my God. Can yeah, we... that, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, don't you don't wanna, need to say his I don't name. Know. Or do you? Well, he, I mean, how's he gonna know? Does he have like a nickname or? Well, is I don't want to say his name if it's not cool. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, <laughs> appreciate the guy. The guy. appreciate yeah. yes, yeah. appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the listeners. Uh, appreciate anyone. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that shit. Spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the word. Fuck if you if you're at work, you ain't got shit to do. Listen to this shit. Whatever, nigga. And uh, thanks, clever, for coming through. For sure, you know what I'm saying? Did. Check Not out the fucking life. album, nigga. Out North now. for Life is dope as fuck. Bot Jam Nat, it. Botnet coming soon. We yeah. stand for boys on the north side. I already know. <laughs> Botnack Botnack Boys on the north side Already know That's tight yeah, It's my man. next big take Man that's why you're clever Probably bro this month <laughs> Smokey and the bandit Hey one Stun thing we learned for money. sure Is why you're clever <laughs> <laughs> Straight up nigga Today we learned that Especially how you got Cell phone right away oh, shit. No nigga you did that <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo <laughs> That nigga's clever Let me know Where the riddles you got I fucking And we found out That you never tricked In your whole life oh, Guapo man. Yo we're out of here nigga <laughs> Uh, this is Stujo, the song that almost didn't make the album, and also the song that uh, Slow Life didn't have a verse on it, but I didn't have to take a shit that day. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Enjoy. Just called to let you know.